got to get better, and that's been a point of emphasis this week. So I hope we see improvement Friday. How are you guys in the health department right now with both Antoine and Brad Smith being out? Um, you know, we'll still be without Antoine. We'll still be at, without Brad Smith. Um, those are kind of two big ones that are out right now. Um, you know, Tristan McCoy was kind of playing through some stuff on Friday. He toughed it out, but uh, he wasn't 100%. He's doing better this week. So uh, we're getting better. We're not at full strength, but, um, you know, it's got to be the next man up. What's the timetable to get Antoine back? Um, you know, he got, I uh, went to the doctor this week and I had a good report. Um, so, you know, we're going to work him back through the process and see when he's fully healthy and, and ready to roll uh, probably in the next few weeks. Uh, certainly a big one this week against Greater Latrobe. They're kind of one of the middle of the pack teams, and you look so much parity in the conference this year. Teams like Trinity and Connell still very much improved, and I think a game against Latrobe, the outcome's going to go a long way in deciding who gets in and who gets out when we get to the end of October. Yeah, this is definitely a, a playoff matchup, you know, right here, I think. Um, you look at, we know Thomas Jefferson, McKeese Porter, are really great programs, and uh, they're always going to be near the top, but I think there's definitely some parity in that next group and um you know every week is going to matter every point's going to matter and um we, we got to come ready to play and this latrobe program has certainly had a nice little resurgence under ron prade he picked up a playoff win last year for the first time in a long time and it looks like you know these two schools have kind of followed a similar path over the last 15 to 20 years yeah coach does a great job down there um you know he in his second year he's really done a a nice job. Um, you know, Latrobe was a 5A school for a very long time, and they're, they're bigger than us. But if you look over the history, you know, from the last time Laurel Highlands and Latrobe played, the games have always been tight between our two schools. Uh, I think we get similar type of kids out, and uh, it's going to be an exciting game. And they have an experienced quarterback back in John Wetzel and a lot of familiar names with the skilled positions. Yeah, uh, you know, the quarterback was really good last year as a sophomore, and he's, he's going to be tough. He's really tough to take down in the pocket. Uh, he runs with the ball well. Uh, 25 is just a really good player. He's a big, tough kid. you got to account for him. They move him around. He's all over the place. And uh, you know, 21 is another talented receiver. They've got three really good players on offense. Um, and, and I think this, their team just gives amazing effort. It's really rare that you see a play where one of their 11 guys are not doing their best. And um, that, that's a, a credit to him as a coach. That he gets the best out of his guys. Coach, appreciate your time as always. We'll see you out there on Friday night. Best of luck against the Wildcats. All right, thanks, Brian. That's Laurel Island's head coach, Rich Colasar. We'll talk to Ron Prady, the head coach of the Greater Latrobe Wildcats, when the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. NovaCare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, NovaCare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatment, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement NovaCare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Mason Town office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. I'm attorney Rob Harper of Radcliffe Law. Trip Radcliffe, Bill Martin, and I want you to know that Radcliffe Law has handled all sorts of accident cases for the past 40 years, and we are here for you. There is no need for you to travel to Pittsburgh and pay a larger fee. Call us, and we will gladly meet with you for free right here in Uniontown. We even have Saturday hours to accommodate your schedule. Visit our website and Facebook page. Give us a call at 724-439-3939. Radcliffe Law, your local injury attorney. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 60th year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Silva and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Silva and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Silva and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Family owned and operated for 60 years. Call 724-437-2351. 724-437-2351 for Ted Silva and Son Body and Fender Repair. Always proud to support local high school sports. 
pizza, beer, atmosphere. It's all at Ma Maruca's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Ma Maruca's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Ma Maruca's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MomMarucaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. Chris Parker Jr., what's happening for September at Autoland? September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and Hyundai is celebrating 25 years of their Hope on Wheels program. With every new Hyundai purchase, they have donated over $225 million to date toward pediatric cancer research. Hyundai is committed to the program all year long. But this month brings an extra awareness to such a great cause. Isn't September also the beginning of the new model year? It is. New 2024 Hyundai Tucson have arrived. And they have 2.99% financing for up to 60 months. Or $1,500 HMF bonus cash. You also have to see the new totally redesigned 2024 Hyundai Kona with a roomier interior and more features. And every new Hyundai comes with three-year free complimentary maintenance and Hyundai owner assurance. America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper coverage. Auto Land Hyundai, 25 East Bay F Street, Uniontown, or visit their website at autolandhyundai.com. You always pay less to drive the best at Auto Land Hyundai. Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, family-owned and operated by Rick Gates, former Brownsville resident and Geibel alumni. Located in the former Dolphy Funeral Home on Gallatin Avenue, this historic home with ample parking has been beautifully restored and provides pre-need, at-need, burial or cremation services. Gates Funeral Home and Crematory, offering families warmth, comfort, convenience, and affordability. With a knowledgeable funeral director and a compassionate staff. Phone 724-434-8040 or visit GatesFuneralServices.com. Chiropractor, husband, father, team doctor, and coach. I'm Dr. Bob Baker, and I'm running for Fayette County Coroner. As a proven leader and team player, I will lead with integrity and compassion. My plans and goals for this office will be a great benefit for our community to not only serve those in need, but to also help prevent tragedies. I'm Dr. Bob Baker, and I would greatly appreciate your support. Paid for by friends of Dr. Bob Baker. Prime Rosak back here on the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show with Greater Latrobe head coach Ron Prady. The Wildcats at Laurel Highlands tonight taking on the Mustangs and Ron, your Latrobe program, 2-2 two and two right now. You lost your conference opener last week against Thomas Jefferson. Your general thoughts on how the season's gone for you so far this year? Um, yeah, that was uh, certainly a tough one there. Um, yeah, TJ, TJ. And um, big physical, you know, tough, tough kids, so uh, well-coached. So it was certainly, uh, <clears throat> you know, we gotta, we got to play better from here out. How much did the playoff win last year just kind of help with the resurgence of your program? Um, you know, I think in a lot of ways it was it was obviously huge for us. Our numbers are up. Um, I think when I when I took over the job last year, there were 40, 43 or forty four kids on the team. Last year we were at about sixty one, and now we're at uh, seventy five, I believe. So um, in that way, it, it helped. Um, helped to generate a lot of interest, a lot of excitement around the program, and and now I think our kids understand what it takes to win a little bit better, and um, you know, we're looking forward to hopefully more playoff success in the future. And certainly some experience back, including your quarterback, John Wetzel. Yeah, John, John's, um, you know, he started for us last year every game as a sophomore. Um, both ways. He plays safety, too. So um, he's played a lot of snaps. He's uh, looking like he's more experienced at this point. He, um, He's kind of taken over the offense a little bit and uh, feels more comfortable. Um, his reads are better, his throws are better, and just his full command of of the offense and as a leader in general um, has really grown. So we're excited about John. Any more parity in the conference this year as well? You look at Trinity and Connells, I think those two programs much improved. They're really a fight just to get one of the uh, top four playoff spots. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy. I mean, and I don't want to overstep a little here, but and you would assume TJ and the key sport are going to be there at the end. And it seems like, um, you know, four or five teams fighting for those last two spots. Um, and again, you know, you never know what could happen. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's Laurel Highlands, it's, it's Trinity, it's Carlsville, and, and Austin Ringgold. Um, you know, it's, 
certainly great parity. Um, I expect a lot of good close games, uh, kind of, you know, a lot like Trinity and Carlsville was. Um, so I think uh, a lot of these games are going to come down to the wire, like ours did last year with, with Laurel Highlands, and, and be very competitive. And that's what you want to see, and that's what you hope for. Um, but there's no off weeks. Last year's game was certainly fun. How do you think you match up with the 2023 version of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs? Well, I think it'll be a very similar game. Um, you know, last year was low scoring, 10-7. Um, you know, it could be that way. It could be a little bit more offense. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think the matchup is there for a, to, for a really competitive uh, game like it was last year. I think they're similar teams. Um, you know, we're, we're both kind of, I think, in the same boat as far as uh, Coach Colasar has built a program that you know, those kids expect to win there. And there wasn't always success at Laurel Highlands. Um, but they've certainly had it since he's been there and has grown every year. And we're looking to, to kind of replicate, you know, what they've done over there. And both teams looking for a bounce back as well because, like you, they took on McKeesport last week, kind of took it on the chin. You had a tough one with Thomas Jefferson. So both teams really needing a win here tonight. Yeah, I agree. And I, I think both teams are going to play that way, play desperate, um, you know, play really hard. And I expect it to uh, come down right to the end of the game for sure. Um, you know, they, those guys, Coach Colson and, and his staff do a great job, and I know for sure they're going to have them prepared. Well, Coach, appreciate your time. Best of luck against Laurel Islands. We'll see you out there on Friday night. Thank you. Take care. That's Latrobe head coach Ron Prady. Again, the Wildcats taking on the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. Also on the WMBS Facebook page tonight, we'll have coverage as the Uniontown Red Raiders travel to Valley to take on the Vikings. And we'll talk to the Red Raiders head coach, Keith Jeffries, when the Sprouts Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by Direct access, 724-437-7500. I'm Mike Gobble, and I am the Republican nominee for Fayette County District Attorney. I am a retired member of the Army and a veteran of Afghanistan. With nearly 20 years of experience in military police, corrections, and criminal law, I am the most qualified candidate to be your chief law enforcement officer. I am a strong defender of your constitutional rights, and I'm dedicated to addressing crime, drugs, and corruption. We need change in the District Attorney's office. Vote for me, Mike Gobble, on November 7th, because I am the right person to bring about that change. Paid for by the candidate. Fayette County Commissioner Vince Vesiti salutes all who work so hard to keep high school football an important part of our lives. A great amount of effort, much of it behind the scenes, goes into putting a team on the field. And a lot of teamwork occurs when elected officials produce positive outcomes in our community. On Election Day, let's keep Vince Vesiti and his team moving us forward. Vince Vesiti, at work building Fayette County future. Paid for by the friends of Vincent A. Vesiti. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sproul's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprawlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction. Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For
For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. McClure & Wolf, certified public accountants. Your full-service accounting firm serving the tri-state area since 1926 is conveniently located at 538 Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Offering tax, accounting, auditing, payroll, management advisory, and estate planning services, McClure & Wolf is recognized as an industry leader in providing their clients with quality professional services. To find out more about their services, visit them online at www.mcclurewolfcpas.com or give them a call at 724-437-2000 for McClure & Wolf Certified Public Accountant. From chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Fay West Glass Company is the one to call. Fay West Glass has served Fayette and Green Counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait Fay West is available. 724-439-8600. That's 724-439-8600. Proudly local and veteran-owned Fay West Glass will earn your business. Prime Rosak back here on the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show, both on the radio and online tonight with live video. It's Laurel Highlands hosting Greater Latrobe. You can also watch the Uniontown at Valley game on the WMBS Facebook page. And joining us right now is Uniontown head coach Keith Jeffries. And Keith, certainly a tough loss for your program last week at Albert Gallatin. We talked last Friday before the game. We actually thought you had a good chance at winning, certainly being competitive, but that was not the case last Friday. Yeah, I think kind of snowball when one thing went bad and all of a sudden the next thing, the next thing, and we just couldn't recover from that. AG, uh, like I said last week, was a lot better than what their rec- record reflected. Uh, their kids played hard, they played tough, and, and Coach Dindle did a great job preparing his kids to play us, and they have a nice ground game, and they didn't turn the ball over, and we did. You guys had kind of a scary injury in the game. Darian Gordon went down. How is he doing right now? He's he's moving around. He's still banged up. He's still a little stiff and sore. Uh, obviously, he'll be out for uh, not sure till how long. But uh, yeah, we we kind of had some injuries this week from that game. Darian, as I told the kids after the game, the main thing is when we went down to see him in the hospital, he walked out of there with us Friday evening. So that was a big positive for us there that the kid was up and walking around. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there have been a number of scary uh, injury situations throughout high school football in Western PA over the last yeah. couple of weeks. And always good when the, uh, we're able to get a kid to walk out of the hospital on his own. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that was a big scare for everybody. And it could have been a lot worse. And like I said, he walked out. That was the main thing. Well, you have Valley this week on the road. How do you think you match up with the Vikings? Yeah, they're, they're doing well. And uh, we didn't see much film on them, but what we got, they, they execute, and they run a lot of pass plays, and it's given us a lot to prepare for this week. This is a team you saw last year, and you know they're a pretty solid program. Yeah, they, they are. I believe they have a new coaching staff this year, so the plays are a little bit different than what they ran last year. But they have nice-sized athletic kids, and it'll be a challenge, as, as always. Well, Keith, appreciate your time. Best of luck this week. And uh, Billy and Josh will have the game here on WMBS. Okay, thank you so much. And again, you can watch that Uniontown game at Valley on the WMBS Facebook page. We'll bring in Ian McMeans from Steel City Blitz when the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show continues right after this. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases. But most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis. Representing you and your neighbor yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. Where can you go these days and have your gas pumped for you, oil checked, and windshield clean? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for over 49 years. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, fenced-in storage lots, and is a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. 
The North Union Township Recreation Center and Supervisors Kurt Matthews, Ron Tupta, and Ron Landman are a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands Mustang football team. The North Union Rec Center and Supervisors wish the Mustangs good luck this season. For information on the North Union Township Rec Center Basketball and Soccer League, please phone 724-438-7350 or visit their website at northunionreccenter.com. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. Uniontown Detailing has moved to a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Stop by and check them out today. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown Detailing. The people of South Union Township know it's one of the finest places in Fayette County to live and raise a family. There are clean, safe neighborhoods, two beautiful parks, a wonderful school district. The taxes are the lowest in the county, the garbage and sewage charges are the cheapest in the entire state, and there's not been a tax increase in 52 years. The Vernon name is a strong name for quality, people-oriented services. When you need something, Rick Vernon is there. Why break up a good team? Let's keep a good team together so Rick Vernon can continue to work hard for our great quality of life. Rick thanks everyone for their support in the primary and would appreciate your vote in the fall so that he can continue working with his fellow supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer and Jason Scott, for our great quality of life. Pay for by the candidate. Primer Rozak back now with Ian McMeans from Steel City Blitz. And Ian tonight on WMBS, Greater Latrobe at Laurel Highlands taking on the Mustangs. And this game can go a long way in determining who's in and who's out of the WPIL playoffs and the pairings come out in late October. Absolutely. This is a massive game with playoff implications, as was last week's game between Trinity and Connellsville that Trinity edged out Connellsville by a single point. And we've talked a lot on the pregame show so far this year about how in the Big 7 Conference, there's really four teams battling over two playoff spots, and those four we just mentioned, Latrobe, Laurel Highlands, Trinity, and Connellsville, are those four teams. So any head-to-head -head game between them is going to have pretty big implications as far as who gets into the playoffs and who's left at home. And at the top of the conference, both McKeesport and Thomas Jefferson looking strong last week. Of course, TJ took care of Greater Latrobe, while McKeesport whipped up on Laurel Highlands 55-3. Yep, and as we've talked about before, that McKeesport offense is just really hard to stop with the triple option they run. They don't make a whole lot of mistakes, and anytime you turn the ball over, it's going to be another five or six minutes before you even see the ball back on offense, and they've got explosive playmakers in the backfield. They look really good. TJ's got a tough game this week against Bell Vernon in non-conference play, which could potentially be a conference game again next year if Belvernon moves back up to 4A, but that's just one of many very good games on the slate this week. Yeah, come on, Spell really impressed me last week. Already had a scholarship offer to Pitt, and I guess he got one over the weekend as well to UNLV. Yeah, he's one of a loaded freshman class, but I think there's four or five kids in this freshman class already that have offers to Pitt and a couple other pretty high D1 schools in those, you know, Power 5 or going to be Power 4, I guess, since the Pac-12 is going away. But, you know, the Power Conferences are really paying attention to this freshman class in the Whippeal, which is something we haven't really seen before, freshmen getting offers so early. Um, and I think it's interesting because now with the transfer portal in college being as active as it is, these kids in high school are kind of competing against the transfer portal kids for roster spots, too. So it's interesting to see these colleges getting out and giving these offers to freshmen so early in the process as well. Yeah, the whole game certainly changed as far as the uh, college dynamic goes. And taking a look at some other local matchups tonight, of course, Connellsville will be heavy favorites tonight on the road at Ringgold. I haven't been able to say Connellsville has been a heavy favorite in a game in quite some time, but we'll see if they're able to take care of business and stay in the playoff race. Brownsville trying to snap their long losing streak. Might have the best opportunity to do it this season, taking on Carrick today. 
and of course Uniontown playing a non-conference game against the Valley. Yes, uh, Ringgold has the longest conference losing streak in the Whippeal at 36 games. Their last conference win was all the way back in 2017 when they beat Uniontown. Um, so that just tells you how long ago it's been since Ringgold won a conference game that Uniontown was still playing in the Whippeal and wasn't an independent school. Um, but you're right about Brownsville. Carrick, the City League school that's gone the independent route as well, and they've had some struggles. They got beat up on by Uniontown earlier this year. So I think you're right. This is probably Brownsville's best shot at it. They've been slowly starting to rebuild that program, but got beat up on the last couple weeks by some teams from Ohio as well. But they're starting to put some points on the board, too. So, you know, that's kind of the start of it is when you're not getting shut out, you start to score a little bit, and then, you know, that, that starts to build that momentum. Uh, this week on our Whippeal Blitz Show podcast, we interviewed the head coach from Waynesburg, who they're off to a 4-0 start this year after going 0-10 last year. And he was talking about how their senior class coming into this year had only won four games their entire high school career, and now they're 4-0 this year. But just about how building that confidence and that momentum really generates a buzz around the school and starts to get more people interested in the team and more kids coming out to play. Because every school's got athletes between baseball, basketball, wrestling, whatever else they might do, but sometimes it's hard to get them out to play football. So that's really the thing is when you start to generate that buzz around your program, it gets more kids interested in football and gets them out to play. So for those schools that have gone the independent route, you know, we saw Albert Gallatin start to turn things around. We've seen Uniontown start to get back on the winning track, and hopefully Brownsville follows suit here too. And Waynesburg, a big game tonight as well on the road at McGuffey. We're back to wrap things up with Ian McMeans from Steel City Blitz in just a moment. Hello, I am Jack Connor. I am running for district attorney. I'm going to go after drug dealers who are pumping fentanyl into our community, insist upon maximum sentences for dangerous criminals, and escalating sentences for repeat offenders. With clear consequences, would-be criminals will think twice. Then we can all raise families, start businesses, and feel safe in Fayette County. Learn more Mondays at 4.15 p.m. right here on WMBS. Paid for by friends of Jack W. McClure and Wolf, certified public accountants. Your full-service accounting firm serving the tri-state area since 1926 is conveniently located at 538 Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Offering tax, accounting, auditing, payroll, management advisory, and estate planning services, McClure and Wolf is recognized as an industry leader in providing their clients with quality professional services. To find out more about their services, visit them online at www.mcclurewolfcpas.com or give them a call at 724-437-2000 for McClure and Wolf, certified public accountant. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days. At life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service. Real service. From a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank. At your service. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Prime Rozak back wrapping things up with Ian McMeans from Steel City. Blazing, what other games do you have your eyes on tonight? Absolutely. So uh, this is almost like Judgment Day in the Whippeal, um, that we've got three just monster matchups. In 6A, there's Central Catholic taking on North Allegheny in a battle of undefeated teams. Both of those teams averaging close to 50 points a game so far this year, a rematch of last year's Whippeal title game. 
Central Catholic with new head coach Ryan Lemeyer, the former offensive coordinator at both Seneca Valley and Pine Richland, has really revolutionized that team from a run-heavy attack to an open passing game. And North Allegheny brought most of their team back that won the Whitfield title last year. So a really good matchup there in 6A. In 5A, battle of undefeated teams in the South Hills between Peters Township and Upper St. Clair. That one's for the top spot in the Allegheny Six Conference. And between those two and Shaler are the only three undefeated teams left in 5A at this point as they start to get into conference play there. In 4A, Aliquippa taking on West Allegheny, who's one of the top challengers to them, along with Central Valley uh, for the Parkway Conference title. And we already talked about the big one between Thomas Jefferson and Bell Vernon in non-conference play, but a pretty strong rivalry between those two schools after they met for years in conference play and met a few times in the playoffs. And then Bell Vernon finally breaking through and winning that state title last year. A lot of, a lot of history between those two schools that even in years when Bell Vernon had won the conference title in the regular season, they wound up losing to TJ in the playoffs. I think that happened in both 2017 and 2019. So, you know, a lot of history there. Both really good teams this year. Uh, both of them brought a lot of players back from successful teams last year. In 3A, a battle of undefeated teams in non-conference play. Knock, one of those good turnaround stories. They were 1-9 and nine last year. They're off to a 4-0 and a start after shutting out Southmoreland last week. They're taking on an Elizabeth forward team who was one of the top seeds in the 3A playoffs last year. Elizabeth Forward's also undefeated under their new head coach. In 2A, we talked about the waynesburg McGuffey game, as well as Nishanik taking on Beaver Falls in a battle of a few of the top teams up in the Midwestern Conference there in Beaver and Lawrence County. And then in 1A, um, a game that I thought would probably be for the Tri-County South Conference title between Manesson and California, but Manesson lost to Bentworth last week. They got shut out 28 nothing in a Bentworth team that had finished dead last in the Tri-County South last year. So big win for Bentworth over Manesson last week, and we'll see if Manesson can bounce back against California. Both of those schools have a lot of talent on them. Um, I think they're both playoff contenders, but the Tri-County South is now wide open with, you know, Bentworth got the win last week, and West Green star running back Colin Brady he went down with an ankle injury. I think he had to get carted off the field, which shame to see for him, but that really opened some things up in that conference, and you never know how things are going to shake out. Well, Ian, appreciate your time. As always, I know you guys are busy at Steel City Blitz. We got a Steelers win, even though it was a little bit sloppy. The defense got it done on Sunday. Now you have full Steelers coverage and WPIL coverage up at SteelCityBlitz.com. Absolutely, yeah. People can check out our Whitfield standings page, which has all the tiebreakers and everything listed, and that's going to be especially important now as we get more into conference play and the playoff races start to heat up. So you can check that out. Check out my Whitfield Games of the Week articles, as well as our Steelers articles, Steel City Blitz podcast, Whitfield Blitz Show podcast. Those are both available on YouTube. Um, yeah, so thanks for having me, and stay tuned for more this year. And we'll talk to Ian again next Friday before our coverage of the Laurel Highlands game at Thomas Jefferson. We're back with the starting lineups in the opening kickoff tonight. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs taking on the Greater Latrobe Wildcats here on WMBS. The Triple Live High School Sports Network, YouTube Live, and the South Union Township Sports Network. Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Berry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Berry is located at 84 East Main Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vince T. Berry. It will be the only call you need to make. Call 724-430-0300. That's 724-430-0300. Hello. My name is Dr. Garrett Brakeiron, and I am running for South Union Township Supervisor. I have been a lifelong resident of South Union and raised my family and built my business in South Union. I have recently retired, and I will devote my full time and energy as your supervisor. It's time for a change of the old guard with new leadership. I humbly ask for your support in the upcoming election. The following message was paid for by the friends of Garrett Brakeiron. Welcome back to Laurel Highlands High School. We're about 17 minutes away from the opening kickoff tonight. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs hosting the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. We have Gary Frankhauser down on the field tonight. Gary, the homecoming festivities going on right now. Sign of Trace. Jack Connor 
Good day here at the Mustang campus. They had spirit night that started earlier in the evening up on the uh, driveway in front of the high school. Very well attended, and this is a capacity crowd coming to see these home homecoming festivities here this evening. And uh, I think we're hoping for a very good football game here also, Brian. Well, Gary, it looks like Nick wasn't ready for us, so we'll just stand by. It's 4.15 p.m. right here on WMBS. Paid for by friends of Jack W. Connor. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724 737-7500. Chiropractor, husband, father, team doctor, and coach. I'm Dr. Bob Baker, and I'm running for Fayette County Coroner. As a proven leader and team player, I will lead with integrity and compassion. My plans and goals for this office will be a great benefit for our community to not only serve those in need, but to also help prevent tragedies. I'm Dr. Bob Baker, and I would greatly appreciate your support. Paid for by friends of Dr. Bob Baker. Hi, I'm Russ Blejo. As your local Allstate agent, providing protection that fits your life is something I take, well, personally. I'm committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them. From bundling your auto, home, and life insurance with ease to evaluating optional coverage based on your protection needs, I can build an insurance proposal that fits your life. Are you in good hands? Contact me, Russ Blaho, for a free quote. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, savings vary. Ready to update your home? Find what you need at Zen's Construction Warehouse. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to help you the old-fashioned way. They'll answer your questions and get you started on your next home project. Conveniently located at 485 Walnut Hill Road in Continental. Zen's is open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 2. For more information, call 724-366-8274 or visit Zen's Construction Warehouse's Facebook page. Zen's Construction Warehouse, their surplus is your savings. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. Back now, Laurel Highlands High School homecoming festivities going on. We're going to send it down to the field. And Gary Frankhauser and Gary Nix ready for you now. And Molly Thanks, Zorowski. Brian. It's always a very festive atmosphere Molly up here at Laurel Highlands for Miranda homecoming. Newsom. And uh, spirit and night started up at the high school prior to the She's homecoming festivities down here. All the Corvettes bringing the young ladies and their escorts through. And now the introduction of all of the uh, homecoming court. It's a very exciting night and it provides a little more motivation for the home team here to try to turn things around after a tough outing at McKeesport and a heartbreaking loss up there at Kiskey. So the Mustangs looking for an identity on offense as I talk to the coaching staff trying to figure out what works and what can get them to play from the lead, something that they haven't had a opportunity to do too often here this evening, this this season. The Mustangs a little bit shorthanded again tonight, along with Antoine Black, who's expected to be back soon. The Mustangs also without Brad Smith and Hunter Rabb on the offensive line, and that's certainly going to hurt Laurel Highlands as far as depth's concerned, Steve. It's definitely going to hurt them, and. Uh, you know, so they just they just got to step up. I mean, it's an op, you know, anytime you get something like that, Brian, you get that's an opportunity for a player that maybe didn't get the playing time he wanted. It's an opportunity for him to show what he can do and maybe make a statement. Miss Erilyn Macheski, and they just named Erilyn Macheski the homecoming queen here at Laurel Highland Science School. So congratulations to her. And Gary, that's always an exciting time down on the field. It sure is, and uh, congratulations to her. She. It's very excited down here. All of her friends are excited, getting a great round of applause from the fans. And uh, again, let's hope that provides this whole atmosphere here at Laurel Highlands, provides some motivation to the uh, Laurel Highlands Mustangs football squad. And guys, as we said during the first segment of the pregame show, one of the best crowds we've had here at Laurel Highlands, certainly in quite some time. Yeah, it sure is. It's uh, <laughs> We had to park uh, 
pretty far away. I don't know where Gary got here after me, so I don't know where he, he might have had a VIP spot, but he probably had to park uh, down there. I'm all the way down at the bottom, about pet below the baseball field. So, Don't it, tell anybody, Steve. I'm yeah. right behind the uh, field house. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> you're, you know, but uh, hey, this is great, though, to see this many people here. Let's hear I mean, one more time. <laughs> we got here an hour and a half before kickoff, and the parking lot was packed, so just gives you an idea how many people are supporting these Mustangs and uh, coming out here to play. Of course, and Latrobe brought a pretty big uh, contingent as well. See a lot of uh, black and orange over there to our left, so should be a pretty fun night. Our game also being simulcast on the South Union Township Sports Network tonight as well. Brought to you there by Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Union Town, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and Insurance Agent David Hughes, SWGI Specialist, now part of U.S. Digestive Health. Chessler's Fine Furniture at 51 North of Uniontown, the UPMC yeah. Rehabilitation We're Institute, the physical therapist the Jim Burns, United Bank, the, the law offices of Zebley Mahalov and White, and South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and, and Jason and Scott. Our live video stream here on WMBS, brought to you by Ford of Uniontown on the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. And Tony, I know you had an opportunity to play in the Catholic War Veterans golf outing this past week, and that sounded like a lot of fun. It was a great outing, Brian. They had a great turnout as well, and that's one of the better outings that's put on around the area. If anybody has a chance to play in it next year, please think about it because it's good for the community, good for the scholarships for the kids, and it's a blast, trust me. We were actually a part of the scholarship presentation from last year. They held it in August, and really was a nice night out there at the War Vets. It was a nice night. You just had a poor cameraman that night. So, <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? That would have been me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, Brian, a, a little bittersweet for the Catholic War Vets. Building was uh, demolished today. Really? The old one. The old building. The old building down on Route 40. Okay. Yeah. Right before you get into town on the right. Okay, some good info there, Gary. And I think they're just about ready. They're singing the alma mater right now. They'll be followed by the national anthem, so we'll step aside for a quick break. Then be back with the starting lineups and the opening kickoff tonight. Laurel Highlands hosting Greater Latrobe Homecoming here at Laurel Highlands High School on WMBS the South Union Township Sports Network. We are on Facebook Live tonight. We were originally going to go on YouTube Live, but the YouTube network had some issues here with the Laurel Highlands network. So we're back to our roots on Facebook Live tonight. So hopefully you can enjoy the game here on WMBS South Union Township Sports Network and the Trib Live High School Sports Network as well. Back in a moment. Chris Parker, Jr., what's happening for September at Autoland? September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and Hyundai is celebrating 25 years of their Hope on Wheels program. With every new Hyundai purchase, they have donated over $225 million to date toward pediatric cancer research. Hyundai is committed to the program all year long, but this month brings an extra awareness to such a great cause. Isn't September also the beginning of the new model year? It is. New 2024 Hyundai Tucson's have arrived, and they have 2.99% financing for up to 60 months or $1,500 HMF bonus cash. You also have to see the new totally redesigned 2024 Hyundai Kona with a roomier interior and more features. And every new Hyundai comes with three-year free complimentary maintenance and Hyundai Owner Assurance, America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty, and five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper coverage. Auto Land Hyundai, 25 East Bay F Street, Union Town, or visit their website at AutolandHyundai.com. You always pay less to drive the best at Autoland Hyundai. Savings is as easy as one, two, three with an Education Club saving account at First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Your future dreams will start adding up. Plus, you may qualify for a scholarship upon high school graduation. Visit any First Federal branch to start saving today. For more information on account rules and scholarship eligibility, visit FFGC.bank. Best wishes to our local teams from First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. NMLS number 458729, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Aminar Transit, locally owned and operated by the Scott family, have been helping students travel safely to school in the Fayette County area for more than three years. Aminar Transit is a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands football team and wishes all the area teams good luck. For more information, call 724-439-3164, 724-439-3164, or stop into their office at Aminar Transit. Transit 253 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Your big savings when you shop at Reese Warehouse in Smithfield. With great pricing on furniture and appliances from such manufacturers as Maytag and Whirlpool, amongst others. 
furniture from brands like Flex Steel and Ashley, and comfortable Serta bedding and much, much more. Great pricing, all at Reese Warehouse. Your 2023 Community Choice winner has the best place to buy furniture and appliances. Shop Monday from 9 to 7, the rest of the work week until 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. Reese Warehouse, the superstore in Smithfield. Chiropractor, husband, father, team doctor, and coach. I'm Dr. Bob Baker, and I'm running for Fayette County Coroner. As a proven leader and team player, I will lead with integrity and compassion. My plans and goals for this office will be a great benefit for our community to not only serve those in need, but to also help prevent tragedies. I'm Dr. Bob Baker, and I would greatly appreciate your support. Paid for by friends of Dr. Bob Baker. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Magisterial District Judge Nathan Henning extends his best wishes to the Laurel Highlands Mustang, the Uniontown Red Raiders, and all our local teams for a great season. District Judge Nathan Henning recognizes that a successful season requires teamwork. It's the result of the hard work of the players and the coaches and the support of their families. Good luck to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders from District Judge Nathan Henning. Would appreciate your vote on November 7th. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School homecoming, just about five minutes away from kicking off tonight. The Laurel Highlands Mustangs hosting the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Steve's here with your starting lineups to be brought to you by SWGI Specialists. Now U.S. Digestive Health at Uniontown. A different name, but the same team providing the same exceptional digestive care to our communities. Wishing the best of luck to all of our Fayette County team. Steve? Okay, for Latrobe, starting on offense, left tackle is number 72, Caleb Lehman. Left guard is Cody Crawl. He's number 71. Center is Zach Shuey, number 66. Ben Guerra, right guard, is number 63. Jared Bailey is your right tackle, number 75. Tight end Jimmy or Tim Myers, he's number 87. Wide receivers are Williams, Tatch, and Stratton. Quarterback is John Welton, uh, Wetzel, and Brady Prohovic is the starting tailback. Defensively for the Mustangs, Tristan McCoy is your left end. He's number 50, 15. Billy Barton, number 54, is your left tackle. Nose guard is John Pletcher. He's number 52. Josh Kelly is your right defensive tackle in number 75. And Colton Wilson is the end on the right side. He's number 36. Linebackers are Tristan Baker and Parker Hoff. We'll call those names quite a bit tonight, as we always do. Noah Lyon is, is your quarter, cornerback on the left side. Hunter Couser, free safety. Strong safety is Marion Jones. And Josiah Lewis is your corner on the right side. Offensively, for the Mustangs, Billy Barton is your left tackle. Cam Van Meter is your left guard. Josh Kelly is your center. Zalik Redman is your right guard. Connor Dye, right tackle. And... The wide receivers are Darren Dunn, number 21, Josiah Lewis, number 9, and Hunter Couser is number 8. Johnny Duke is your quarterback tonight, and the halfback is Parker Hoff, and the other halfback is Tristan Baker. Defensively for Latrobe, Cody Crawl, number 71, is your left tackle. Nose guard is Joe Lechick. He's, he's the nose guard, number 65. Tim Myers, number 87 is your defensive end on the right side. Linebackers from left to right are Tatch, Bronson, Dr Drajinovic, and Stratton. The defensive backs from left to right are Jaton Williams, Andy Tatchich, John Wetzel, and Nick Stump. And those are your starting lineups. And I have a project for Mr. Frankhauser, Brian. Okay. He needs to find out the man, the the name of that young man who sang the national anthem, because that was one of the best performances I think I've ever heard for a high school football game. That kid was fantastic. It was very fabulous, and yeah. Tony agrees with you as well. Yes, he was pretty good. Our referee tonight is Mike Gaffney. The head linesman is Ed Marco. Sign judge Heath Jenna Cola. Umpires Rick Watson. The line judge is Joey Touchstone, and the field judge is Alex Rowan. 
The Mustangs have won the toss. They have deferred, so Latrobe will get the football first. Laurel Highlands work left to right as we describe it. And Gary, Steve was going through the starting lineup. You had told me before the start of the game we actually might see a little more Parker Hoff at quarterback. Saw that a lot during the playoff run a season ago, and the Mustangs might use that a bit tonight. Absolutely. Talking to the coaching staff down here again, it's really a situation where they're trying to figure out an, an identity for their offensive side of the ball. And I think Parker Hoff might be part of that answer, putting him in at the Wildcat situation, also letting him throw the ball a little bit. So coach are looking for something to give that offensive spark. And Hoff's certainly done a nice job, Steve, when he's gotten a chance to run the footballs for Laurel Highlands so far this year. You look at his numbers, 33 carries, 160 yards, and a touchdown. All right, he's been terrific. I mean, him, him and uh, – uh, Baker back there <clears throat> just been like a kind of a, a one-two punch uh, offensively. They both almost look identical. I think uh, Hoff may be a little bigger, but, uh, you know, they both run similar running styles, and they both have a quick burst and can get some yards. Just a passing attack. Lions throws the ball pretty good. We just got to get some receivers open for him. Here we go. Tanner Bruzdo with a run up. The kickoff going back to the six-yard line on the run back. Here is Chris Cochran for Greater Latrobe breaking a couple of tackles and Cochran across the 30 up to the 31-yard line. Good return there for Cochran. Finally brought down by the Mustangs. Tristan McCoy, so Greater Latrobe in the away whites, black numbers, orange trim, black pants, working right to left as we describe it. Laurel Highlands, the home blues, white numbers, red trim, and the Mustangs sidelines here on the near side. Greater Latrobe off on the far side. Yeah. And the Wildcats set to go with their... Junior quarterback John Wetzel already 442 yards passing so far this season for Wetzel. Going to line up here out of the pistol set. Lone back behind him is Brady Perhovic, and Perhovic's going to get the football here looking for running room on the right side. Give him a yard, maybe two, up to the 33 to bring up second down and eight. Now that Wetzel kid, is that the, is that the son of the uh, basketball yes. coach? Yes. Yeah. Brad Wetzel. Yeah. Second and eight. Prohovic, a 5'8", 175 junior, came into the game, 39 carries for 176 yards and a touchdown. And Prohovic stays in the backfield on the left hip of Wetzel. Twin receivers to the far side, single coverage to the near side. Second and eight, option look. Wetzel's going to keep it himself. Look for running room. Mustangs actually brought him up before dumping him down there. Parker Hoff, the initial hit, finished off by Tristan Baker. Yeah, so Billy Barton in on that as well. Steve, you give me a job, I produce. Jackson Wade, sophomore, sang the national anthem. Wow, that kid, we're going to sign that kid up for the voice. I mean, yes. That kid was pretty good. Deep voice for yeah, a sophomore, yeah, too. Yeah, that's a, that was pretty impressive. Opening drive of the game for the Greater Latrobe Wildcats facing a third and six. They need the Mustang 41 for a first down. Ball position just shy of the 35. Wetzel stays out of the pistol set, trips to the far side. Single coverage off to the near side as Wetzel takes the snap and has a man across the middle, and that's complete to Chris Cochran for a Greater Latrobe first down. Needed six, got eight, up to the Wildcats, 44. Uh, pretty easy pitch and catch there. There was a little misalignment there on the Mustang defense. They had nobody covering that inside. Went down six yards, turned around, and wide open. Well, first and ten now from the Greater Latrobe, 44. Wetzel back out of the shotgun. H back is Jack Dravinovich, and it's going to be a little jet sweep going here to Cochran, and Cochran getting across midfield down to the Mustang 48. So a good run there from Cochran, give him seven, maybe eight. We expected to see a lot of that out of Cochran tonight, the 5'11", 180-pound sophomore. Well, they're just grinding, getting uh, no huge plays, but just... Uh, Six, seven yards a, a clip here, and they got eight there, so second down and two. Line of scrimmage, the Mustang 48, ball on the right hash mark. Wetzel stays out of that pistol set. Prohovic behind him, and Prohovic's going to get the foot. Oh, Wetzel calling his own number. Good fake here. Plenty of running room here on the near side. And here's Wetzel inside the 25-20. Wetzel down the near sideline and took it down to the eight-yard line, so Wetzel... Faked everyone out, Steve, including me, for that 40-yard run to set up a first and goal. Yeah. Flag on the play, Brian. You have a flag throw back in the 41, so we'll see if this one might come back. Everyone is walking back. Holding penalty here against Greater Latrobe. Really nullified a nice run there from Wetzel.
And again, the holding penalties this year no longer spot fouls. They'll occur from the line of scrimmage. Well, that was a spot foul, Brian. It's not supposed to be. They're supposed to be from the line of scrimmage. That was a yeah, that's new they, rule this year. And then how could it be second and four, <laughs> right? I mean, or five now. But they they did not put that down as they should have. That was a rule change in the offseason. We've seen it We've seen it amplified uh correctly all year, but not that time. Here's a little quick screen juggled. Ball goes up in the air. One of the linemen caught. actually brought it down there. That was number 63, Ben Guerra. Uh, pinball. On the reception. But, Gary, I'm surprised. I mean, you know a lot about officials and everything else. That was not applied correctly there at all. Well, I, I think you're right. Uh, the only thing I can say is that the holding occurred past the line of scrimmage. Doesn't matter. It's, I know it's it doesn't. 10 yards I know. From the, uh, I'm not sure why it happened. Issue. I might yeah. have to get a clarification yeah. from that from one of the officials here. Yeah, that was a new rule that went into play in the offseason. Now third and five, line of scrimmage, the Greater Latrobe, 49-yard line. Wetzel staying out of that pistol set with Prohovic behind him. Now man coming in motion here to the near side is Ben Stratton. And Wetzel Keeper calling again. his own number again here on the far side. Wetzel has the Greater Latrobe first down. Getting down to right around the Mustang, 42. It's so another seven-yard run there for John Wetzel. And Wetzel came into the game actually as Latrobe's leading rusher, 43 carries, 229 yards, and two rushing touchdowns. They're going to spot it here with the Mustang, 43. So first and 10 here for Greater Latrobe, 8-14. Left here in the opening quarter. Wetzel now back in more of a traditional shotgun. They're in tight here. Now he's going to reposition Prohovic behind him and send Jatan Williams in motion. And they're going to hand it off on a little end around here to Williams. Williams coming near side inside the 40-35. Williams cut back in the 30 inside the 25-20. And Williams finally brought down at the 18-yard line. So 25-yard run for Jatan Williams, the 6'1", 170-pound senior. No flags that time. It's just a... Had a had a, a buddy out there, Cody Crawl, was uh, leading the uh, the sweep around the end, of the left tackle, and he just kind of he was looking for someone to block, and uh, not much uh, resistance there from the Mustangs. Now first and ten for Greater Latrobe, line of scrimmage, the Laurel Highlands 17. Wetzel staying out of that shotgun. Another option run. Pulls it down inside the 15. Wetzel inside the 10 and spun down close to another Greater Latrobe first down. Fumble right there. Laurel Highlands 8-yard line. Fumble on the play, though, Brian, but recovered by Latrobe. But it was a clear fumble right at the uh, approximately the 10-yard line. The ball was on the turf. Now Wetzel got back on it, so no damage done in an 11-yard gain. They're going to spot it, actually, at the Mustangs 7-yard line. First and goal now for Greater Latrobe. They've taken over five minutes off the clock on this opening drive. Wildcats break huddle. Wetzel back out of the pistol set for Hovick behind him. Wide outs each side. And a little collision there on the handoff to Prohovic. Well plugged up there from Laurel Highlands defensively. They got a little help there, a little friendly fire. Yeah, hit his own guy. One of his uh, guards was pulling and trying to get in a gap and uh, ran into his running back. That could have been a disaster for Latrobe. Now second and goal from the Laurel Highlands 7. Lights starting to take their full effect with the sun setting. And Wetzel staying out of that pistol set. Will take the snap. And a little fumble. juggle. Prohovic put it on fumble. the turf. And I think Laurel Highlands came yeah. close to recovering, but somehow yeah. Prohovic able to fall back on it. So the that second exchange. fumble on this drive from Greater Latrobe, and they've recovered both of them. And now third and goal from the Mustang 11 yard line. Yeah, they just didn't quite get the, the uh, mesh point correctly there. They just. Uh, the quarterback just kind of fumbled it into the uh, receiver or the uh, running back's stomach, and he never had control of it. Third and goal now from the 11. Wetzel's going to put it up, looking far side. Pass falls incomplete. Good coverage on the play from Laurel Highlands. Noah Lyon, the intended wide receiver, was Jatuan Williams. And now fourth and goal from the 11. It looks like they're going to bring out the field goal unit. And they've used a couple of kickers this year, Steve. Roman Agostini was the starting kicker at the beginning of the season, had a groin injury, 
And since then, they've been using Ben BG. And it looks like BG will attempt this field goal from 27 yards. Clean snap coming back. BG's kick is up on the way. Plenty of distance. It's good. So a 27-yard field goal from Ben BG, putting Greater Latrobe on top of Laurel Highlands 3 to nothing here at the 528 mark of the opening quarter. We're back in 60 here in the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. There's public transportation available for everyone in Fayette County. With Fayette Area Coordinated Transportation, you can grab the bus to practically everywhere. FACT has multiple programs to get you where you need to go, including curb-to-curb -curb shared ride services, medical assistance transportation program, persons with disabilities programs, and many others. Curb-to-curb -curb transportation fares vary for programs, but range from zero and over, depending on mileage. Just make a reservation the day before your trip by 2 p.m. Call the FACT office at 724-628-RIDE or visit factbus.com for more information. It's a fact. They'll get you there. It's a fact. County, Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, Ben BG, a 27-yard field goal, putting Greater Latrobe on top of Laurel Highlands by a score of three to nothing. And a touchback here on the kickoff from BG, so Laurel Highlands will start first and ten for their own 20-yard line. Well, let's see what the offense can do. Did a good job of holding them to three points. They drove the ball down the field pretty pretty good on the Mustangs, and then they got kind of sputtered there inside the uh, red zone. So let's see if the Mustangs can come out and make something happen. Uniontown and Valley, no score early on. Up in the New Kensington area. Now the Mustangs go to work for their own 20-yard line, working left to right as we describe it. Handoff goes to Tristan Baker, and Baker shaking and baking back and forth, getting close to Laurel Highlands 25. We'll give them five to set up second and five. So Johnny Duke, the starting quarterback for the Mustangs, 5'10", 190-pound senior, 19 of 31 so far this season for 149 yards passing, a touchdown and a couple of interceptions. Mustangs trying to snap a three-game losing streak while their opener against Uniontown, but then have lost three straight against Belvern and Kiskiari and last week at McKeesport. Another inside run, this one plugged up by the Greater Latrobe Wildcats defensively. The Mustangs may be getting a yard there on the carry from Parker Hoff. Yeah, not much going on there. Hoff just bowled his way in there and got a, maybe a two yards. Didn't look like he got that much, but... Uh, Generous spot. Yeah. Up to the 27. We've seen the Mustangs do a lot of that. Baker gets it on first down, Hoff then on second down. Third and imaginable three here for Laurel Highland. You have Darren Duke out to the near side along with Hunter Couser as Duke's going to put it up. And a little swing pass going forward and it goes to Parker down. Hoff who breaks a couple of tackles and gets up to the 32. That was Darren Dunn, excuse me, off on the near side with Couser. Nonetheless, the pass to Hoff results in a Mustang first down after getting four. So first and 10 now up to the Laurel Highlands, 32. Mustangs break on working left to right as we describe it. And Parker Hoff is the H-back. And Duke out of the shotgun. The handoff going back to Tristan Baker, and Baker right up the gut. Gets across the 35 up to the 36-yard line for a four-yard pickup to bring up second down and six. Well, this is a formula for the Mustangs to stay in this game. One, keep the clock moving, shorten the uh, possessions and time uh, with the ball for the Wildcats. And just uh, if we can uh, kind of move this ball down the field like this in kind of steady, small four or five yard chunks and you got to pay it matriculation, off. Yep, right? Matriculate it down the field, but uh, they got to score at the end. Flag on the play here on the handoff to Parker Hoff. Hoff was credited with about a half a yard on the run. We'll check the flag. Tony staying holding. Holding against the uh, Mustangs. There's a holding penalty here against Laurel Highlands. Went on Josh Kelly, the center. The penalty will move the football back 
And I'll push the football back to the Mustang. 26-yard line. Gary said the officials are asking why no play clock here. They have not had an operating play clock in any of the Mustang home games so far this season. Duke now repositioning Tristan Baker off on the right side as Parker Hoff has the carry across the 30 up to the 33-yard line, and that'll set up third down and nine as the Mustangs just get past the original line of scrimmage. Not sure why they haven't been able to get the play clocks working this year, Steve. You think uh, you think they can figure it out? A couple wires and a at one school we were at, they had batteries, right? Yes. They had a car batteries uh, running the thing, I and mean, it doesn't seem like it's that difficult to do. But uh, already down to two thirteen left here in this opening quarter as Duke operates out of the shotgun on a third and nine. Greater Latrobe almost jumping off sides there. And now hey. Baker repositioned off to the right of Duke as Duke takes the snap. Rolls near side, throws on the run, and has Parker Ha for a minimal gain. A good tackle. Give him three up to the 37, but still well short of a first down. And Laura Highland's now facing a fourth and six. Will probably have to punt here from their own 37. Hunter Kuzier, the punter, he's averaging 23.7 yards a punt so far this season. Team average just 22 yards a punt. And back deep for Greater Latrobe, you have number 21, Jatwan Williams, along with John Wetzel. Kuzier back of the 25, awaiting the snap, has it. Rugby roll out to the near side and sends it away. On one hop, it'll be Wetzel. Fielding it here at the 33, gets across the 40, and a good run back for John Wetzel, taking it back to the 45. So with 110 left here in the opening quarter, Greater Latrobe 3, Laurel Highlands nothing. We're back at 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. That was a 31-yard punt from Hunter Kuzier. And now Wetzel out of the shotgun going empty. He's going to pull it down, look to run, try to turn the corner, but Jaden Tucker able to bring him down. Wetzel picking up a yard, maybe two, up to the 47-yard line. A good pursuit, Steve, that time from Tucker. A really good job from Tucker there to get the uh, – get him from, from behind and uh, kept it to just a two-yard gain. So the Mustangs, maybe they're finding a few a few wrinkles here to keep this uh, Wildcat offense uh, to slow it down a little bit. Second and eight now for Greater Latrobe. Final minute of this opening quarter. Line of scrimmage, the Latrobe 47. Wetzel back out of a pistol set. They'll fake it to Williams. Inside hand out to Prohovic. And Brady Prohovic maybe a yard up to the 48. That could be the final play of this opening quarter. Oh, and our buddy Ed Wolinski from Sandy Hall Notary Services watching tonight. And we'll see if the Wildcats try to get another play away Good here. Tackle. They're coming to the line. Good tackle by Pletcher that time. And a four seconds left. Mustang showing blitz. And Wetzel's not going to snap. they got to be careful. They didn't jump. That's the end of the quarter. 3-0 yep. Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands after one. We're back with a second and 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Hello, I am Jack Connor. I am running for district attorney. I'm going to go after drug dealers who are pumping fentanyl into our community, insist upon maximum sentences for dangerous criminals, and escalating sentences for repeat offenders. With clear consequences, would-be criminals will think twice. Then we can all raise families, start businesses, and feel safe in Fayette County. Learn more Mondays at 4.15 p.m. right here on WMBS. Paid for by friends of Jack W. Hello Downer. there. My name is Dr. Garrett Brakeiron, and I am running for South Union Township Supervisor. I have been a lifelong resident of South Union and raised my family and built my business in South Union. I have recently retired, and I will devote my full time and energy as your supervisor. It's time for a change of the old guard with new leadership. 
I humbly ask for your support in the upcoming election. The following message was paid for by the friends of Garrett Brakeiron. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School, 3 to nothing. The Greater Latrobe Wildcats leading the Laurel Highlands Mustangs on a 27-yard field goal from Ben BG at the 528 mark of the first. Brian Rozak with Steve Super. Steve had to step out for just a moment. Tony Hanula now alongside. And Tony, your thoughts on this opening quarter of play? Well, we thought it was going to be a close game, Brian, and so far it has been. We saw him play last year. What was the final? 10-7, yeah. Yeah, 10-7. So these teams pretty much didn't change outside of, you know, Gallagher being missed now. But uh, really, two evenly matched teams, and we're seeing a pretty good high school football game. Wildcats now working left to right. Wetzel staying out of that pistol set. Third and seven, looking to put it up. Looks far side, high pass brought down. Jatuan Williams breaks a tackle. Williams inside the 25. Williams still going. Cut back inside the 20. And Williams is going to take it to the house. And a lot of fancy running there from Jatuan Williams after the catch for the Greater Latrobe touchdown. 52 yards from Wetzel to Williams on the opening play of the second quarter. And actually, I think Williams was pretty close to that sideline. He was lucky to get that one foot down, but he did a lot of shaking and baking and a great run after the catch for that 52-yard touchdown pass. Third touchdown reception of the season for Jatuan Williams. Came into the game 10 receptions for 250 yards. And tacking on another one there, PG's extra point is good with 11.45 left here in the second quarter. It's Greater Latrobe 10, Laurel Highlands nothing. We're back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Tonight. Your health is the most important thing to you. When you need physical therapy, find the best clinic to serve you. Movement Physiotherapy, now located off Route 40 on Pedro Drive, west of Uniontown, understands this and wants to help ease the stress. Tyler Gasick has over 10 years of experience helping people improve their health with physical therapy and is ready to help you. Tyler's from the Uniontown area and is committed to helping improve his community. To schedule your appointment, phone 724-912-PTPT or visit Movement Physiotherapy online at movementpp.com. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. Ben BG with a kickoff going into the end zone for a touchback after John Wetzel found Jatuan Williams on a 52-yard touchdown pass. BG added the extra point. A three-play 55-yard drive took 111 off the clock. Score occurring at the 11:45 mark of the second quarter. And Steve, I know you missed it, but Jatuan Williams, a lot of fancy running there after the reception yeah. from Wetzel. Well, the Mustangs have got to respond right now, Brian. They just got to get a drive. And even to eat some clock and get some points here. Can't afford to get down. Uh, too many scores here. They're not a passing, uh, you know, it's not a, we're not a wide open passing attack. We'd like to run the ball, so we got to be able to move the ball a little bit. Johnny Duke inside run here to go. Parker Hoff. And Hoff able to bring it across the 25 up to the 27-yard line for pickup of seven. Check that out. It's Tristan Baker. Baker on the run getting seven. Nice. Gary, you got something down there? Because I hear your mic's on. Well, the coaching staff down here, you, you're right. It was a fa fantastic run by the uh, Latrobe receiver, but they're really on the defense for missed tackles there. It was at least four guys that had an opportunity to bring it. They just failed to do it. Second and three now for Laurel Highlands after the seven-yard run from Baker. Here's Duke play fake, looking far side. Pass is complete. was almost picked up, but caught in a nice run down the far sideline into greater Latrobe territory on the reception there for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. That's Hunter Couser. Wow, one of the defensive backs for Latrobe. I believe it was number 25. That was... Uh, Tatch, he uh, he tried to jump the route and uh, tried to diving uh, for a diving interception, but he just missed it. 
And the Mustangs get a big play. What is a 34-yard completion from Duke to Coosier? Now an inside run as the Mustangs try to answer back down two scores early on at 10 to nothing. This run taken down at the 34-yard line. This time it was Parker Hoff picking up five there for the Mustangs. That's a good play. Five yards, good play on first down. That's a keep that ball moving, keep it at second and you know five. You don't you just want to avoid those second and tens or or negative plays, so Mustangs doing a good job on this drive, responding to that uh, long touchdown play. Second and five now for the Greater Latrobe 34. Duke back out of the shotgun this time. It's Tristan Baker, and Baker takes it down to the 32. Pickup of two. Bring up third down and three with 10.06 left before halftime. First quarter flying right by. Yeah. It's a pretty good. Uh, well, we're in the second quarter now, Brian. <laughs> the second quarter's flying by too. I said the first half flying. You by. said the first quarter. Did I say first quarter. Yeah, okay. but that's all right. But the, nonetheless, yeah, third and three here for the Mustangs. Well, both teams keeping on the ground, running the ball a lot. Clock keeps running. Now this time, they put Hoff in that time. As yeah, I think it was a Hoff as a Wildcat. Wildcat quarterback. Well, Thought we might see that tonight. And I think he get a look it. at it here. And Hoff down he inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line, very close to Laurel Highlands they're first They're looking down. at it, and they're going to see if they're – I think they're going to give it to him, yeah. He'll move the sticks again. Mr. Gaffney, the official there, gives the signal. They didn't even bring the chains out. It was, that looked pretty close. Gary, did you get an opportunity to ask them at all about that holding getting misapplied? <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Uh, haven't had the opportunity. Don't want to no. take their mind off no, the plays at hand. Nice. Yeah, that's probably not our place to ask them that. <laughs> Duke back out of the gun screen, far side, brought down by Hunter Kuzier in the flat, and Kuzier yeah. maybe getting a yard there down to the 28-yard line. And Kuzier missed the first couple of games of the season for the Mustangs. Has already racked up now 12 receptions on the season. What we should do, though, over is 120 yards. tell the Laurel Highlands coaching staff to make sure they remind the officials. Yes. I mean, that would be the probably, I would think, uh, I, I don't agree. know if they, if they just missed that or maybe there was something in the rules that we didn't, didn't realize. But uh, Unless it changed from last week to this week because it's been that way every game we've done so far this season. Second and nine. This time Jaden Tucker on the run, and Tucker getting a yard maybe two inside the 28, close to the 27-yard line. Kind of a weird lighting now. The lights were taking effect, and now they're kind of they're, they're going the other way because yes. the sun popped out to the left, and it's still, I mean, nice the sun sunset. the sunset. Yeah, it's a kind of a, a nice orange uh, sky, but it's making the lights a little bit, uh, you know, not uh, taking their full effect as of yet. But probably about ten minutes uh, here, you know, right at halftime, it'll be completely dark. You have Duke back on the sidelines now for the Mustangs, and it's going to go to Parker Hoff again, run the whole way on the left side, and Hoff maybe got the 27 there for a yard, but the Mustangs will be facing a fourth and about seven here with 7.47 left in the second quarter. They're going to bring out Tanner Brewster. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and that's about his range. He was hitting him from 45. This is going to be 43. Hit a 36-yarder against McKeesport last week. He's got the leg to do it. Be a 43-yard attempt from the left hash mark. Clean snap coming back. Bruised up, puts it down. Kick up on the way, and that kick is no good. Hit the upright, Brian. So bruised up, no good on the 43-yard field goal attempts. And with 7.21 left before halftime, Greater Latrobe will take over. With a 10 0 lead over Laurel Highlands, we're back in 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Back here at Mustang Field. Greater Latrobe going to work. First and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Wetzel will put it up. Completion across the middle, middle to Jatuan Williams. He'll take it down to the 35-yard line with a late flag. Wetzel's pass complete to Williams. Got to call a flag there on... Uh, 
probably you targeting a hit to the head. I don't didn't I don't I think he attempted to hit him in the head, but he whiffed. <laughs> but I don't know if they're gonna call. They might draw wave this flag off. No, they're gonna say he hit him in the head, and it's gonna be a personal foul, 15 yarder, and that's yeah, just I can see that yeah. adding uh, misery to the uh, long gain. Guys, we talked about how tight the middle of the pack is here in the Big 7 Conference. You look at Trinity and Connellsville. They played a 41-40 game last week. And, of course, Greater Latrobe and Laurel Highlands. Of course, you have to figure Thomas Jefferson and McKeesport, the top two teams in the conference. You basically have four teams fighting for two playoff spots. Ringgold enters tonight the second longest losing streak in the WPIL as Prohovic on a run here on the left side. Getting down to the Mustang, 46 for a four-yard game. Uh, defense has got to step up here. He cannot afford to get down 17. Of course, Laurel Highlands next week, a road trip at Thomas Jefferson. Take on the Jaguars. Jags tonight battling Bell Vernon in a non-conference game. Of course, Laurel Highlands shocked Thomas Jefferson. First ever win in school history for the Mustangs over the Jags. A season ago will be much tougher to get this year down at TJ. Second and six now for Greater Latrobe. It's Wetzel on another play fake, rolling out near side. Took a good shot, finished off there by Parker Hoff. Wetzel able to pick up two, bring up third down and four. And then next week you'll be happy to get your Chick-fil-A. They always put it in the press box for you. Have to pass along our condolences as well to Thomas Jefferson head coach Bill Chirpak. His father passed away yesterday, so... Our condolences certainly go out to the Chirpak family. Third and four now That's for gonna Greater Latrobe. That's going to be a penalty. I had too many men in the huddle. And I think unless they call a timeout. See, yeah. we're being told that Coach Chirpak would coach tonight against Bell Vernon as well. You're right, too many men in the huddle. My son will probably be at the game next week, Brian. He, I'll be good. He just, uh, he just moved to uh, Pleasant Hills. He lives about a mile or two from the high school. He was so, our cameraman at one of the games last year, wasn't he? He did something for us. Maybe he will. Maybe Stats. He'll probably want to come up and get one of those Chick-fil-A sandwiches. I'm sure he if he will. Can get him in there. <laughs> Either that or bring his dad some other food. Yeah. yeah. Third and nine now for Greater Latrobe wow. after the five-yard penalty. I like Chick-fil-A too, Gary, but I, not as much as Brian. But no uh, well, you guys, the amount of free advertising you're giving them tonight, Steve, yeah. sounds like you really like them. Yeah. Here's Wetzel putting it up again across the middle. Williams on the reception again. And another Greater Latrobe first down down to the Laurel Highlands, 36. 13-yard pickup there from Wetzel to Williams, and Williams has been his top target all night long. Well, maybe we can get Potters or uh, Mama Marucas yes. to, to, to After the deliver. Game tonight, yes. <laughs> well, that play there, Brian, is just well designed. And he just comes across the middle, finds the open area in front of the safeties, behind the linebackers, and is wide open for easy pitch and catch. First and 10 now from the Laurel Highlands, 37. Wetzel back out of the pistol. Goes to Prohovic. And Prohovic, no room there up the middle after he. Fake the handoff to Sawyer Batina. The Mustangs looking a little flat right now. Well, they're they're just uh, they're on edge right now, Brian. They gotta they gotta. Uh, this is a pretty big part of this game. 419 and counting. Latrobe just kind of moving the football every time they get it. I don't think they've punted yet, have they? Not the Wildcats. No, they. Second and eight now from the Laurel Highlands, 39. Wetzel rolling near side, throwing the run. That one juggled and falls incomplete. Intended there for Jatuan Williams. Well, that was a good throw. Williams just dropped it. And that would have been a first down. But, but Opportunity for an interception right there. Ball was tipped up in the air, as you said. Should have been a catch, but once it was tipped up, there were two or three Mustangs with an opportunity to take that one back. Would have been a huge swing. Third and eight now from the Laurel Highlands, 36. Westel back out of the pistol. Perhovic behind him. Twin receivers to the far side. Single coverage to the near side as Wetzel takes the snap. Hangs in the pocket. Looks deep middle, and that pass is hauled in 
right along the five-yard yeah. line. And on the reception there for Greater Latrobe is Ben Stratton. Yeah. Not sure that that was intended for him, although it was just thrown in the middle of the field where he had two receivers and Stratton able to stretch out and down with that. And again, among Mustang defenders, unable to make the play. Stratton's first reception of the season goes as a 33-yard gain to set up a first and goal for Greater Latrobe from the Laurel Highlands 6. Wetzel takes the snap, slipped a little bit, regains, and on the right side of the line, Wetzel takes it into the end zone for another Greater Latrobe touchdown. Yep, that's uh, three times in that drive. Okay. They didn't get off the field on third down. And a 16-0 lead now for Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands with 334 left before halftime. Now BG to add another extra point. Kick up on the way and good. And the Greater Latrobe Wildcats now a 17-0 lead over the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. 334 left before halftime. We're back at 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum cans, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. Bruce Beard, located at 187A Connellsville Street and available by phone at 724-417-4958 is here to meet your accounting, tax service, and real estate management needs. Call Bruce Beard at 724-417-4958. 724-417-4958. Good luck and best wishes to the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Uniontown Red Raiders from Bruce Beard. Kickoff going back to Gio Guerriere as Guerriere on the run back across the 35 up to the 39-yard line. Another late flag coming in here from the Laurel Highlands sidelines. We'll see what the call is. A little extracurricular activity okay. over here on the bench. I'm not sure who initiated it, but uh, let's see what the call is. Referee sorting things out right now. Tony, you have Wetzel's stats for the night? Yeah, right now Wetzel is 6 for 8 for 120 yards passing and that 52-yard touchdown to Jatuan Williams. Wow, that was a player that was on the sideline, was not even involved in the play. <laughs> one of the Latrobe players came off the sideline after the play and uh, one of the bench players hit him. That's something you don't see every day, Steve. No, you sure don't. Already down uh. at 325 left before halftime. So the Mustangs down 17 to nothing. Duke's going to put it up. That pass almost intercepted. Williams almost had the pick on the intended pass there to Noah Lyon. Certainly a dangerous throw there, Steve. Pretty dangerous. Uh, just, uh, of course, the Mustangs are trying to get something going offensively here. It's still only 17 nothing. I mean, you're not, if they could somehow get a score, we get the ball, I believe, in the second half. They, we, they did they, defer, they, correct. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you get a two-for-one here. If you get score here and get a ball and go again, you could get back to within three if you could score these next two drives. Duke back out of the shotgun, second and ten. Inside handoff to Jaden Tucker. Tucker across the 25, up to the 29-yard line. Pick up a five to bring up third down and five. Valley, an 8-6 lead over Uniontown. Kadrian McLee had a 67-yard touchdown run for the Red Raiders tonight, but they trailed by two. Valley got the two-point conversion on their touchdown. Uniontown missed the two-point try. Now third and five here for Laurel Highlands. 2.53 left on a running clock before halftime. And Duke with the little pitch there to Hunter Couser. And Couser, a Laurel Highlands first down across the 35, up to the 36-yard line for a seven-yard pickup to move the sticks. Right now, Steve, it's just clock management. You have 2.44 left before halftime. You're down 17 to nothing. You just have to try to find a way to work your way down the field and get some points here on this drive. 
Well, uh, clock. I don't know if you want to call it clock management. You got to score. <laughs> you got to score some. You got to move the football, and they're moving it, but they're just taking too long. They're not getting any big chunk plays. Inside run that time. I believe that was Parker Hoff up to the 40. Well, Trobe will let him have two, three yards a clip all day long. Let that clock continue to run. Sooner, pretty soon, you're going to have to start considering timeouts if you're if you're uh, Laurel Highlands because you got to you know two minutes left. You certainly don't want to just run the clock out here. You got to try to get some points. A four yard run there, second and six. 204 left before halftime. Kuzier comes in motion, gets it on the pitch forward. Hunter Kuzier trying to turn the corner near side. Not much running room, just a yard gain for Kuzier up to the 42. Now third and five with a minute 50 left before halftime. On the, pitch. the Mustangs do not seem to be. You know, they're going to go no huddle here, so they're going to try to at least. That will bring up a third down and four. A third and four, 138 left before halftime. Seems to be a little confusion on the alignment. They're set now. Duke a play fake, throws across the uh, middle, and falls uh, incomplete intended for Josiah Lewis. Now if he would have thrown that. Where Lewis could have caught it, it probably would have got picked off because there was a couple defenders right in the throwing lane there. So it's a good thing that he that he kind of nose dived it down. Fourth and four, they're going to bring out the punting unit down 17 to nothing from their well, own 42. They had a lot of problems punting earlier in the year, but the, since they got Kuzier back there, it seems like it's gone a little better. The snaps have been better, so the. Latroba's no one back right now. Now Williams is going to move back a little bit. Oh, High oh snap boy. coming just... back here to Kuzier. Rolls out, barely got it away. Good job there from Hunter just to get that punt away. Send it over get the it head of Latroba. Down it on the one foot line. It'll get down by Gio Guerriere. Did it go into the end zone? Uh, he no, it did not. Guerriere. Then maybe we'll get a safety. With a. Nice down of the punt there at the one-yard line. Steve, looked like you back in 1985 against Virginia Tech. Yeah. <laughs> well. That was a 57-yard punt yep. from Kuzer down by Gary Air at the one. Good job by Kuzer. The bet, you know, the, the punt was as good as the punt was. The better thing was the way he caught the snap. That ball was going over his head, and he leaped up. He showed some vertical hops there, and he got the uh, – gathered himself and uh, – it was kind of a weird formation from Latrobe. They weren't rushing the punter, but they also didn't have anybody back. It was kind of like they were just expecting a fake. They're playing just straight defense. A Wetzel out of the pistol set here. Movement here on the line. Did jumped. the Mustangs jump yeah, across? Yeah, the Mustangs jumped. Offside. Defense number 54. Did go against Laurel Highlands. We'll have Gary get a word with Laurel Highlands head coach Rich Colasar walking off when... The end of the second quarter occurs. Brought to you by Davis and Davis, attorneys at law, helping local people with their legal matters since 1976. And you could feel the temperature dropping rapidly now, right? You can, I don't know if you guys can feel it over there in your booth, but. Gary like, has the short sleeves on, too, down on the field. Yeah, well. Didn't bring a jacket tonight. Inside run, and Prohovic breaking a couple of tackles here, takes it down to the 21. Gain of 15. Now you get With yourself. 111 left here before halftime. Well, Trev gets a play like that. All of a sudden, they're thinking maybe they could score again. I'll look for the deep throw again here, Steve and Brian. Wetzel out of the pistol. They're going to keep it on the ground for now. And Perhovic across the 25 up to the 27 yard line. Wildcats will take a timeout. So take one as well. Mustangs up 17 to nothing. Or check that the Wildcats up 17 to nothing. 57 seconds left here. In the second quarter, we're back in 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens, even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance. Gives you a great rate that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address. Plus, seriously good service. Now that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowl's Insurance Group. 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all I'm states. Mike Gobble and I am the Republican nominee for 
Fayette County District Attorney. I am a retired member of the Army and a veteran of Afghanistan. With nearly 20 years of experience in military, police, corrections, and criminal law, I am the most qualified candidate to be your chief law enforcement officer. I am a strong defender of your constitutional rights, and I'm dedicated to addressing crime, drugs, and corruption. We need change in the District Attorney's office. Vote for me, Mike Auble, on November 7th, because I am the right person to bring about that change. Paid for by the candidate. So 57 seconds left in the second quarter. Greater Latrobe now from their own 27-yard line. A little quick screen in and out of the hands of Brady Prohovic, who's normally the tailback lineup that time as a wide receiver. Almost picked off. The Mustangs actually had a guy out there on the, on the wing. And I think it was Lyon out there. He almost got a hand on that ball. He, I think he did tip it. Now third and five. Now, this is interesting here. If you do not get this first down and the clock continues to run, I think the Mustangs probably would use one of those timeouts that they have. Out of the gun on this third and five, Wetzel scrambling to the near side. And now Wetzel in some trouble, just throws it down the field. Good pursuit defensively that time from the Mustangs. You had Colton Wilson there along with yeah. Parker Hoff. Well, with an incomplete pass, you don't have to use a timeout. You get the ball back, so maybe we can get a punt return. They're going to put number 14. That's Gary Ayer back there again. He's been doing a lot of returning for Laurel Highlands as of late and has done a nice job. Almost over there, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Gage Ketrin is the greater Latrobe punter. He's That's back a false the start. They, didn't call, yeah, they, got, they got it. Number six on the outside for the Latrobe. Just jumped a little early going back, trying to block for his punter. I think you got to get your return guy up a little bit, Brian. He's a little, he's pretty far deep. <laughs> Gary is standing at the Mustang 45. Yeah, Always say, easier, though, to run forward. Yeah, but I tell you what, you want to catch this ball in the air and get back upfield. And now Ketron yeah, see, will send it away. He's going to let it bounce. He's 20 yards in front of but him. But Gary is going to pick it up here on one bounce and get into Greater Latrobe territory at the 47-yard line. So 39 seconds left before halftime. Wildcats up 17 to nothing. We're back in 30 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Dave Lohr wants to remain your Fayette County Commissioner. Commissioners have come and gone, but real change came when Dave Lohr was elected Fayette County Commissioner. Dave left politics at the door to focus on what's best for the people of Fayette County. The county is changing from here at home to Pittsburgh to Harrisburg to Washington. They're noticing things are looking up for Fayette County, and businesses are noticing too. And that's good for everyone. Keep Dave Lohr your Fayette County Commissioner. Paid for by the Dave Lohr campaign. It's a 33-yard punt from Ketrin. Gary Ayer taking it back to the Greater Latrobe 48. And the Mustangs now at the football back with 39 seconds left before halftime. But Johnny Duke in trouble, and Johnny Duke's going to take a sack here for Laurel Highlands. Well, at that point now, you got to just let the clock run out, or they're going to call timeout. The Mustangs will take a timeout. Yeah. 30 seconds left before halftime. Wildcats 17, Mustangs nothing. We're back at 30 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Fayette County Commissioner Vince Vecitti salutes all who work so hard to keep high school football an important part of our lives. A great amount of effort, much of it behind the scenes, goes into putting a team on the field. And a lot of teamwork occurs when elected officials produce positive outcomes in our community. On Election Day, let's keep Vince Vecitti and his team moving us forward. Vince Vecitti. At work, building Fayette County future. Paid for by the friends of Vincent A. Vecitti. So we're back here at Mustang Field homecoming, but it's been all greater Latrobe, the away team, dominating tonight. Ben BG, 27-yard field goal. John Wetzel to Jatuan Williams on a 52-yard touchdown pass. Then Wetzel scoring on his own six-yard touchdown run. Mustangs have been blank so far. They have a triple right set here on a second and 18 from their own 44. They're coming after Duke again, was trying to set up the screen. It got knocked down to the line. Good pursuit there from Tim Myers knocking down that pass, and now third and long for Laurel Highlands. Third down at 18. And the Mustangs passing game, guys, has been non-existent so far tonight. Yeah, uh, not much going on uh, tonight, Brian, with the passing game. 
A couple of the passes complete, just been those little flip passes to Hunter Couser. Couser, three receptions for 37 yards. Duke just 44 yards passing so far in this game. Now third and 18 from the Laurel Highlands, 44. Duke a little pump fake, steps up. He's going to look to run. Back in the Latrobe oh, territory. And Duke right down at the 46-yard line. Tackle there by Wetzel. No flag thrown, though, Steve, and it'll be fourth and eight with 19 seconds left before halftime. So it was a 10-yard run there from Duke. We need a lot more than that at this well, juncture of the game. you got to go for it here. I mean, uh, punting is just, you know, you, if you give them the ball here at midfield, it's not going to be that much difference, I wouldn't think. They're just going to sit on it probably anyway, so might as well take a shot. Throw it down the field. If you know you're going to go for this here, you got to throw it down the field past the sticks. Triple right. Say you have Lewis, Couser, and Line and a little banana bunch. Single coverage to the near side. Mustangs take a timeout. So 19 Laurel seconds Highlands. left before halftime. Greater Latrobe 17, Laurel Highlands nothing. We're back at 30 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. I'm attorney Trip Radcliffe of Radcliffe Law. I've practiced law in Fayette County for over 40 years. The success of our firm is the result of our clients trusting us to make the best decisions on their behalf when they're injured in an accident. We tell our clients, you get yourself better, we will deal with the rest. If you've been hurt in an accident, call us today to set up a free consultation, 724-439-3939. We have Saturday appointments for your convenience. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. Belvernon off to a 12 0 lead over Thomas Jefferson tonight. And it looks like the Valley Uniontown game is still 8 6 Valley over Uniontown. You can watch that game tonight as well on the WMBS Facebook page with Josh Scully and Billy Dice. And now Laurel Highlands facing a fourth and eight here. Got to throw it deep here, Brian. 19 seconds left in the second quarter. Johnny Duke takes the snap, looks across no, the middle, picked off. That. That's John Wetzel on the run back. He had a 98-yard pick six last week against Thomas Jefferson, looking for another one here because run out of bounds at the 18-yard line by the Mustang quarterback, Johnny Duke. We still have 8.6 seconds left on the clock here for Greater Latrobe. Yeah, that's just a bad decision by Duke. You cannot throw a ball over the middle like that. You got guys, receivers going down the field deep, throw it deep. And even if it's intercepted down there, it's going to be a, a like a punt at that point. But you can't have a one across the middle with all your receivers and your skill players are down the field past where the ball was caught. And that's just a bad decision there. Now the Wildcats take another shot here. Already up 17 to nothing. Wetzel back out of the pistol. Set Petrovic behind him. They're going to send Bettina in motion as Wetzel takes the snap. Looks near side, passes tipped, and then hauled in by Williams again for the third or fourth time we've seen a pass get tipped. Parker Hoff almost had an interception. Williams has the reception. They get a timeout called with .8 left on the clock. So let's see if they, they could kick a field goal. That's probably what they're going to do. Now BG's already hit from 27 yards in this game. That was the opening drive of the game, an 11 to play 68 or 60 yard drive. They're bringing him in. Try to get this lead up to 20 to nothing. And put a little more time on the clock. Doesn't really matter much at this point. You're going to run a field goal, and it's going to be the final play of the half, regardless. I think he wants two seconds on the clock. That's correct. He's asking for two seconds. I don't know if you guys can tell. I can hear. Yeah. Tell the clock operator. <laughs> Steve, can you communicate that to the clock operator? Uh, yeah. He got it. He's got it. Two seconds on the clock now. And his field goal attempt will be 25 yards from the near hash mark. The holder is Prohovic. So Ben BG trying to go two for two on field goals in this game. Clean snap coming back. Prohovic puts it down. BG's kick is no good. So BG Punch missing there for 25. BG's kick and we'll go down no on the good. field to Gary Frankhauser, Davis and Davis. Halftime coaching interview with Laura Highlands head coach Rich Colasar. Gary? We'll catch coach here. He's talking to his quarterback as we uh, head off the field. Coach? Let's go jog it in. 
Coach, you were able to stop that initial drive and held, hold it to a field goal, but uh, it came back with a couple big plays and uh, now stretched the lead out to 17. What can you do in the second half to try to turn things around? Yeah, we just got to make a couple small adjustments. Um, you know, we've done some good things, some bad things. Luckily, we get the ball to start the second half, so we need to go set our out with some points. Have you been able to uh, come up with a way to you know, sustain a drive and uh, get some points. Yeah, I mean, we, we moved the ball a little bit, just not finishing drives. You know, we had a field goal hit off the post there, so we're getting close. Um, hopefully we get it going here in the second half. Okay, good luck, Coach. Thanks a lot, Gary. The Mustangs certainly in some trouble down 17 to nothing to the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Stay tuned. We'll have a little bonus coverage. You folks on the radio will get you out to the Valley Uniontown game and a little first half stats from Tony and some other scores from around the WPIL here at Greater Latrobe 17. Laurel Highlands nothing on WMBS, the Triple Live High School Sports Network. Facebook Live on the South Union Township Sports Network. Go to Ford to Union Town and trade me in. John Clinton with Dominic Carbone from seven-time president award-winning Ford Union Town. Hey, Dominic, tell the listeners what we have going on this month. Well, John, we are taking up to $4,000 off F-150s, and that's not including incentives. Buy an XL or an XLT and pick up $500 in rebate, and listen to this. Interest rates as low as 1.9%. And if you have a qualifying trade, you pick up an additional $1,000. mach we got them. And check this out. We can save you $5,000 off sticker and 0% for 60 months or 1.9% for 72 months. We have a great selection of in-stock vehicles and more inventory and fresh trades arriving daily. And do you have that car that you just don't need? Well, we will buy your car even if you don't buy one from us. Does your vehicle need service? We now offer online maintenance appointments and don't miss out on pickup and delivery. We'll come to your home or work, pick your vehicle up, get the work done, and deliver it back to you at no additional cost. Your car knows, shouldn't you? That's 40 Uniontown on top of the hill across from Applebee's or 40uniontown.com. Must finance with Ford Motor Credit. Not all buyers will qualify. See dealer for details. When your car is damaged, the name to remember is Ted Sova and Son Body and Fender Repair. Currently in their 60th year of providing quality, reliable service to the community, Ted Sova and Son offers complete collision service, minor to major repairs, frame and unibody repairs, and glass installation. They'll gladly blueprint your vehicle for repair, and they'll work with your insurance company. With a paint booth that utilizes the environmentally friendly waterborne paint process, Ted Sova and Son not only cares for our community and our children, they care for our environment. Located on Atlas Road in Hopwood, it's the goal of Ted Sova and Son to alleviate the stress of an accident and assist you in any way possible. Family owned and operated for 60 years. Call 724-437-2351. 724-437-2351 for Ted Sova and Son body and fender repair. Always proud to support local high school sports. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724 592 308 for your surprisingly great race. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And right now we have bonus coverage of our Facebook Live game, Union Town and Valley. That game in the second quarter, Valley up 8-6, and right now we go out to Josh Scully and Billy Dice. 120, and if you're the Uniontown Red Raiders, knowing that Valley has not shown any indication of kicking an extra point or field goal in the past, you know the bottom line here is keep them out of the end zone. Here's Goodwin now. Shotgun snap. Perkins going to move out, and the pass does go to the right side, and it's caught again by Coaston. Another big catch, and he's pulled down this time by Kadrian McGlee, and so now with under a minute, it looks like the spot of the ball is going to be right at the 10, maybe just shy of the 10-yard line. And we're going to have a timeout here taken by the Valley Vikings. The Valley Vikings lead by two. They want to make it more. They'll have 47 seconds to do so here at Valley High School when we come back. Bad hair day, bad day at the office, bad day behind the wheel. Hey, stuff happens even to the best of us. At least your car insurance rate doesn't have to take a hit. Get Erie Rate Lock from Erie Insurance that stays put until you change a car, driver, or your address, plus seriously good service. Now, that's something to smile about. Your Erie agent in Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprouls Insurance Group, 724-437-9812, or go to SprouseInsurance.com. Erie Rate Lock is not guaranteed. Continued insurance coverage is not available 
in all states. Coming off of this timeout, we've got 47 seconds here. And a Valley Vikings two-point lead. And a game that has featured a couple of really big plays, both sides of the ball, as well as a few miscues. Valley looking to build upon this lead. And the handoff is going to go to Perkins, and Perkins is going to find the edge and get there for a touchdown, just escaping the clutches of Kadrian McGlee. And Valley, at present, now leads 14-6. to And we suspect there's going to be a two-point conversion attempt upcoming. Good-looking run there by... Chuck Perkins and some good blocking, too, on the far side of that Valley offensive line to spring him into open space to find the end zone. Valley is indeed going to go for two. Goodwin in with the play. We've got about 13 seconds left on the play clock as Goodwin shares a final word with his running backs, gets everybody positioned. Now just six seconds on the clock. Here's the snap from Ryan Long, and Goodwin's going to try the keeper. He's looking for an edge, and he's going to find Nick Torbage. And Nick Torbich brings him to the turf. Two-point conversion will fail. That's good news for Uniontown. That keeps this a one-score game. And the Red Raiders will not only receive this upcoming kickoff with 40 seconds to play, but they will also be receiving the opening kickoff of the second half. So Uniontown going to enjoy at least one good opportunity with the football, and maybe two if they can do something with this final 40 seconds of the first half. You're listening to coverage of the Uniontown High School Red Raiders football team here on WMBS Radio's Facebook page. Are you looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years of experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. And the Uniontown Red Raiders going to have 40 seconds on the clock. And we're going to have a kick coming from Trent Hickenbotham for the Valley Vikings. And here is that kick. And there's a flag on the play just about as Hickenbotham was making contact with the football. And we're going to have an offsides on the kickoff against the Valley Vikings, which is going to bring Valley backward. Ball going to be brought now back to the Valley 35. This is potentially good news for Uniontown, who will have a few seconds to work with here. now showing 39 seconds here at Valley High School as opposed to 40. Here's the kick. This one a little bit deeper than the first. Going to be taken by Uniontown. This is Milsom, who's had a nice day in the backfield, or in the secondary, rather, and now he wants to have a good day as a kick return man, and he's back into Valley territory. It looks like he's got to at least the Valley 34. There is a flag at the very end of that play, but Milsom with a burst of speed right along the far hash mark across midfield. We'll see the result of this one. The officials conferring now. And we're ready for the call. And it's going to be holding against the Uniontown Red Raiders, unfortunately. And the officials now backing this one up from about the end of Milsom's return. Good-looking return and a real burst of speed. Milsom's been a busy man. He's had some nice plays in the secondary for Uniontown. Nearly ended that first Valley drive with an interception in the end zone. Ball just skipped into his hands. Very close. Uniontown has 32 ticks left in this half, and it's going to be McGlee and Torbich alongside Ranitou in the backfield. Snap is fumbled. McGlee smartly just falls on the football. And Uniontown going to lose several yards as a result of that when they're back in their own territory now. Spot will be the 47. Clock continues to roll. Uniontown is going to try to get off another play. 
Ran it to and Torbich again. Your split back. Snap goes to McGlee. He gets this one. McGlee wants to air it out. Indeed, he will. And he goes deep down the sideline. He wanted Calvin Winfrey. Ball falls incomplete. Darnell Coast in there with him every step of the way. And that will leave us with four seconds left in this half. Valley currently holding a 14-6 advantage. This game, so far, very reminiscent of the meeting between these two teams last season at Bill Power Stadium, which ended in a 20-13 victory for the Valley Vikings. Uniontown's going to get one more opportunity here. As McGlee ran it to and Torbich hash out their placements. Ran it to in more of a protector role here with Torbich as the sidecar. Here's the snap to McGlee. McGlee going to roll out our way. He wants to go deep. He's got a lot of chase, but a nice looking throw way downfield is going to be intercepted. And it's going to be intercepted by Valley's number 16, Dorian Briggs. And Briggs still on his feet. Finally going to be pulled down by number 74, Aiden Kiefer. And there is a flag down on the field during the return. This may not matter whatsoever as there's no time left in this half. We'll see exactly the nature of the beast. a holding penalty called against the Valley Vikings during the return, but that should be that. That's going to bring the first half to a conclusion here at Valley High School. Your halftime score will be the Valley Vikings 14 and the Uniontown Red Raiders 6. We're going to prepare ourselves now for a halftime show as well as our band performances, which will be upcoming here at Valley High School. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes from U.S. Digestive Health in Uniontown. On behalf of my partners, Dr. Fred Ruthart, Chuck Calabrese, Mark Hoppe, and our entire USDH team, we want to wish all our local high school athletes an outstanding season on the fields, courses, and courts. For any digestive problems or just to schedule a preventive screening colonoscopy, call us at 724-724. 437-7677. Pizza, beer, atmosphere. It's all at Mom Maruka's Pizza, located on Barton Mill Road in Uniontown. Mom Maruka's is your prime spot to enjoy local high school sports. Family owned and operated, the Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, wings, and the best Italian hoagie and homemade bruschetta in town. Mom Maruka's is open Monday through Saturday from 4 to 10 for indoor and outdoor dining and takeout. Don't forget Mom's catering services for your next party or gathering. Call 724-438-9066 or visit Mom MomMarukaPizza.com for their menu and live music schedule. Back here at Laurel Highlands High School. Mustangs down 17 to nothing to the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. Let's go down on the field with Gary, who has Greater Latrobe head coach Ron Prady. Ron Prady here uh, with Gary Frankhauser at halftime. And coach, you got to be pretty satisfied with the first half. A couple stalled, stalled drives there at the beginning, but able to come up with some big plays and uh, hold the Mustangs at bay defensively difference is uh, we did hit a couple big plays. Teton Williams is a pretty good player and you know our defense is playing well to keep them you know we gave up the one big play here but keep them uh, to a field goal attempt and then the missed field goal was was big for us. So you're gonna have uh, some clock management here in the second half try to control the ball I would imagine and uh, keep the Mustang offense off the field? Yeah definitely I mean we got to get a stop first they score here and it's you know it's a whole new ball game so we got to get a stop and turn, you know, get the ball back to our offense and try to possess the ball a little bit and, and run some clock and get first downs. Okay, Coach, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And Gary, we have to say congratulations out to you. You just added a grandchild at halftime. I did, and there's no feeling better than that, Brian. And uh, I'm going to be down there tomorrow to see the new baby, Maisie June Savisky. Well, congratulations again, Gary, to you and the rest of the family, adding a Grandchild on at halftime, always a good feeling. 17-0, Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands. 
And Tony has our halftime stats. They're being brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Gary, or right, Tony. All right. For the Latrobe Wildcats, passing John Wetzel with 7 for 11 in that first half. 130 yards passing and one touchdown, the 52-yard connection to Jatuan Williams. Williams was also leading receiver for Latrobe in that first half. Four catches for 90 yards and as mentioned, a touchdown. Ben Stratton had one catch for 33 yards. Ben Guerra, the offensive lineman off the tip, one catch for one yard. And Chris Cochran had one catch for six yards in that first half. Rushing-wise, Brady Prohovic had eight carries for 26 yards. John Wetzel, six carries for 28 yards and a six-yard touchdown run. Chris Cochran, one carry for eight yards. Jatuan Williams, one carry for 26 yards. Latrobe ran 27 offensive plays. They had 16 rushes for 88 yards. Seven for 11 passing for 130 yards for 218 yards of total offense in that first half. Three penalties for 20 yards. They had nine first downs and no turnovers in that first half. For the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, John Duke was 5 for 9 passing for 44 yards. He did have that one interception by Wetzel. Hunter Kuja was a leading receiver, three catches for 37 yards. And Parker Hoff, two catches for 7 yards. On the rushing end, Parker Hoff, six carries for 22 yards. Tristan Baker, four carries for 18 yards. Jaden Tucker, two carries for six. John Duke, two carries for two yards. And Hunter Couser, one carry for seven yards. The Mustangs ran 20 offensive plays. They had 15 rushes for 55 yards. They were five for nine passing for 44 yards. They had 99 yards of total offense. Four penalties for 45 yards. They only had four first downs. And they had one turnover, that being the Wetzel interception in the first half. Thanks a lot, Tony. 17 to nothing. Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands here at halftime. Second half comes your way next here on WMBS, the South Union Township Sports Network, the Triple Live High School Sports Network, and Facebook Live. From chips and cracks to splits and shatters, if you need new glass, Faye West Glass Company is the one to call. Faye West Glass has served Fayette and Greene counties for over 25 years and specializes in residential glass installations and replacements, plus commercial and industrial glass. So when that window's busted or that sliding door shattered and you can't wait, Faye West is available. 724-439-8600. That's 724-439-8600. Proudly local and veteran-owned, Faye West Glass will earn your business. <laughs> Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. The U PMC Rehabilitation Institute on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, sprains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Hi. I'm Russ Playho. As your local Allstate agent, providing protection that fits your life is something I take, well, personally. I'm committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them. From bundling your auto, home, and life insurance with ease to evaluating optional coverage based on your protection needs, I can build an insurance proposal that fits your life. Are you in good hands? Contact me, Russ Playho, for a free quote. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, savings vary. Attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim Witt at Watson Mundorf LLP wish the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and all of our local teams the best of luck this year. Watson Mundorf is a premier regional law firm whose experience and expertise empower it to not only be an advocate for its clients, but also provide them with exceptional service to exceed expectations. With offices in Uniontown and Connorsville, they are local and here to serve you. Call 724 724- 626-8882 for attorneys Bobby Gordon, Shane Gannon, and Tim. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood is a veterans organization located in Fayette County since 1950. 
They are proud to advertise on WMBS sports programs and to contribute to the Veterans Hospital, local sports teams, and scouting organizations. Best of luck to all of our local teams from the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. The Greater Latrobe Wildcats, a 17 to nothing lead over the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. We're about two and a half minutes away from starting the second half. Our game also on the South Union Township Sports Network tonight, courtesy of Smith Lewis Chess CPAs in Uniontown. Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, the Sprouse Insurance Group, and insurance agent David Hughes. SWGI Specials, now a part of U.S. Digestive Health. Chessler's Fine Furniture at 51 North of Uniontown. The UPMC Rehabilitation Institute and physical therapist Jim Burns. United Bank, the law offices of Zebley Mahalov and White. And South Union Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Our live web stream here on WMBS on Facebook Live. Brought to you today by Ford of Uniontown and the Catholic War Veterans Post, 1669 in Hopwood. And Steve, certainly a tough first half for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs. They're going to have to change something up here to get things going for the third quarter. Got to score some points. <laughs> you got to score some points. Got to move the football. I mean, they had they moved it, you know, sparingly there. They, they actually showed glimpses of being able to move the football, but they haven't been able to sustain anything on a drive. The passing game has not been good, and uh, I would probably think either he's going to go with uh, Noah Lyon, maybe let him sling it down the field a little bit if they get too far behind, or maybe even go back to Hoff and let him run the Wildcat. And Duke can run it as well, but they just need to get the ground game going and score some points. If they can score, think about it, if they score here 17 7, you know, you're back in the football game. You get a turnover, something happened, you never know. I mean, look at that Steeler game the other night. They, they Certainly the offense didn't help at all, and the Steelers still were able to pull it out. So it's not over yet. I mean, we're not that far behind, but we got to get some somehow, some way, we're going to have to score some points. Well, you go back, Steve, to that Kiski area game. Remember, it was Noah Lyon that got the start there. The Mustangs fell behind two scores. They switched to Johnny Duke, and immediately – the Mustangs scored a touchdown, got right back into the game, and sometimes change for the sake of change ends up creating some good opportunities for your team. Well, you just never, you just never know. I mean, it's high school football, Brian. The kids are trying. Duke just, you know, he's just going back there. He's getting a lot of pressure, and he's not getting outside the pocket to throw the ball. But uh, they just need to, you know, I don't, I wouldn't pin it all on him. No, yeah, not at yeah, all. No, for sure. I mean, he's uh, he's doing his job. He's, I mean, he's trying. I mean, he could actually run, run the football a little bit. Maybe a few, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, some trick plays, something, something to get a spark. You know, we need a spark. Mustangs will work right to left as we describe it here in the third quarter. Reminder to stay tuned after the game for the Trib Live Scoreboard Show with Don Rebel. You can also watch the Trib Live Scoreboard Show on the WMBS Facebook page. So if you're watching our game, flipping over and checking out some of the Uniontown Valley game tonight as well. Vikings a 14-6 lead over the Uniontown Red Raiders at halftime. You can keep it right there on the WMBS Facebook page to watch the Trib Live Scoreboard Show. Next week, we travel to Thomas Jefferson at Solaro Highlands taking on TJ. 6 o'clock Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. The Uniontown Red Raiders back at home next week, taking on District 5 opponent. I think it's either North Star or Winburn next week, Steve. And we'll have that game on Facebook as well as BG sends it away here deep on the far side. We'll go into the end zone for another touchback. Yeah, good he's kick. had three or four of those tonight. Yeah, he's kicking them down about the inside the five. It landed, that one landed about the three-yard line and just bounced right in the end zone. And the Mustangs did a good job. A Cougar gets over there make sure it doesn't hit like one of your wedge shots, Brian, and spin back and stop on the one where that would have been a live ball. He made sure it went, and once it goes in the end zone in high school football, it's an automatic touchback. I was watching some of your games last night, Steve, on YouTube. Back in the 80s, you had some pretty good spin on some of those punts <laughs> Boy, back Boy, you there. must have really been bored <laughs> last night. <laughs> not, I like, not much I, I like going to, on. I like how they, they uh, mispronounce your name all the time. Yeah. Superic. I used to say at times. Yeah. Inside run there for a yard, maybe two. Somebody said they call you Soupy back in the day. Is that true? That's what Coach Nealon called me because okay. he couldn't pronounce my last name. So <laughs> <laughs> that was a two-yard run at second and eight now for the Mustangs from their own 22. Second down eight from the 22. Highlands trying to get something going here. Jerry Glanville from the Oilers used to call me a hey kicker. And I used to, one time I tried to correct him and said, hey, I'm the punter, not the kicker. And he <laughs> said, okay, kicker, get on the bus. <laughs> Inside run to Parker Hoff, and Parker 
Carrying a couple of guys with him there yeah, across the 25 the to moving. the 27-yard line. Five-yard game. Brings up third down and three. Need somebody to break one open, you know, somebody to get out there in space and get loose. Out to the 38-yard line. So third and three now for Laurel Highlands. Opening drive of this third quarter, Laurel Highlands still looking for points tonight. Brian Rozak along with Steve Super, Gary Frank House on the sidelines. Tony Anola helping us out with stats. Sarah Camp behind the camera. Nick Barcheck back inside our WMBS uh, studios. Saw Sarah Camp as uh, she definitely dressed for the occasion yes. tonight. She was ready for the cold weather. It got cool last week, and uh, she's got uh, she's all bundled up. She's learning. Inside yeah. run, slipping in the backfield there on the cut. As the season goes along, she better learn pretty quick because it gets cold. These, these, you know, it's kind of trick -cheek. You When we pull in at 5 o'clock, the sun's out and it's 65, 70 degrees, and then usually by the time the game's over, it's in the 40s. Well, Baker slipped there, Steve. No gain on the play, so it's fourth and three. And, they're and gonna, the Mustangs have the punting unit out. Yeah, they're going to pump it. This is just, you know, Trub's got two deep backs, and they're kind of playing a punt safe look. Wetzel on the far side, Jatwan Williams on the near side. Couser standing back at the 14-yard line. A little rugby hold there. Couser letting everyone get down the field, now sending it away. They'll go off here on the near side, take a Mustang bounce, go out of bounds. Right around the 45-yard line. That's where Latrobe will start. First to 10 when we come back. 9.56 left here in the third quarter. 17 to nothing. Wildcats over the Mustangs here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Network. We're back in 30. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. 28-yard punt from Hunter Couser. Handoff on first down for Greater Latrobe goes to Brady Prohovic. And Prohovic getting two up the middle. And they'll spot it here at the Latrobe 47-yard line. Wildcats working left to right as we describe it here in the third quarter. Well, big, uh, you know, it doesn't, goes without saying it. Uh, they're all big possessions now for the Mustangs. They have to get stops and they have to score on the offensive end and they cannot afford to let Latrobe go down there and score again. So they're going to, that first play there, uh, to, get, to stop them to just two yards was a pretty good stop. See if we can do it again. Wetzel back out of the pistol set on the second and eight from the Laurel High, from the Greater Latrobe 47. Handoff this time going to Chris Cochran. And Cochran able to take Good it to the midfield stripe for a three-yard run. Bring up third down and five. Cooser, 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 and Baker get in there. Keep that to a minimal gain. Now you got a third and five. This is a big play. If you could keep them to no gain here, they'll probably punt. But if they get down, I think, Brian, if they, what do you think? If they get in fourth and two or less, they're probably going to go for it. I agree with you. Third and five now from midfield. Wetzel back out of the pistol set. Triple right formation. He'll take the snap, look across the middle once again. Jatwan Williams, another first down reception for the Greater Latrobe Wildcats, brought down by Tristan Baker at the Mustangs 43, but after a pickup of seven yards. Yeah, Williams just kind of got in the uh, seam there and just settled in to a spot where his receiver could throw him the ball, and he just uh, did a good job of just kind of kind of floating in there and a good throw by Wetzel. And Steve, what's disappointing to some extent is the defense of the Laurel Highlands team was supposed to be the strength coming into the season. We even talked to Coach Colasar about it a little bit during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show due to some injuries and other factors. They've had some holes this year as wow, they're going to throw that here flag after the on. Wetzel run, picked up three. We're going to tack on another 15 yeah. here after the personal foul. Yeah, that's a tough one there. That's on uh, 15. Just a total lack of discipline. Yeah, he was a good set when he hit. Go ahead, Steve. We lost uh, Gary there. <laughs> Yeah, I was just gonna say they just a, a play going out, uh, you know, out on the uh, on the wing, and 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 the Mustang defender just kind of going over there. It was just a shove, probably kind of like that. Uh, reminded you of that uh, Pat uh, rough in the passer they called in the Super Bowl. If you remember, that was kind of like controversial, and they are gonna. Uh, the officials are talking about it, but I was gonna say, Brian, before that play the Mustangs really have not been playing that bad on defense I mean they've only given up 17 points and we're half well, almost halfway through the third quarter 
And, uh, you know, and, and three of those were kind of a gift on that interception at the end of the half. So it really almost could be right 14 to nothing. And, uh, you know, but offensively. They missed where, that field goal, though. That was a field goal. Was oh, they missed that, that field goal. You're right. You're right. So that would have been. But still, not too bad, really. But they just cannot get anything going offensively. It certainly has been tough all around for the Mustangs. He yielded 55 last week, 28 against Kiski the week prior. Entering this game on a three-game losing streak. Officials still discussing things yeah. here right around the 40-yard line. And it's either a penalty or not a penalty, right? That's it. Personal foul. And they are going to call the personal foul. Personal foul. Oh, it's going to be offsetting. Those so that's what they were talking about. Yep. We didn't include that factor. No. I think Wetzel kind of retaliated after the uh, push out of bounds, so that's probably what happened. They're both dead ball fouls, so now second and seven. Line of scrimmage, Laurel Highlands 40 with 8.01 left here in the third quarter. Wetzel staying in that pistol set. Haven't Trips changed the, the down side. marker. Well, it should be second and seven. You mean down on the field? I see what you're saying, Gary. I was looking up on the scoreboard. The official's talking to him. He's going to change it. Now they're set second and seven. Ball whistled back in play. And Wetzel takes the snap. Bumble. Bubble the football, able to regain, get it back, and he'll just surge forward and lose about a yard back to the 41. It'll be third down and eight. What's on the fumble he recovery? stuck it in the herd running back uh, going up the middle. Then he tried to pull it out, and the ball just got loose and uh, yes. just fell to the ground. And he was lucky it uh, bounced back to him. Fortunate for the Wildcats and the Mustangs now third down in a pretty good down for the defense, third and eight. Line of scrimmage, the Laurel Highlands 41, 720 left here in the third quarter. Wetzel stays in that pistol set, takes the snap, has some time, flushed out near side, a little quick out, pass complete there to Ben Stratton, his second reception of the night. Just a minimal gain down to the 39, well, two yard pickup. It'll be fourth down and six. That's going to be. Wrap uh, up by Jones. In that no man's land there, you punt, you don't punt, you punt it here and you go in the end zone, you're only gaining about 19 yards. So this is uh, this is kind of a spot where a lot of teams in high school football will go for it, even in college, right? Stratton coming up. Looks like most of the offense still on the field. Line of scrimmage, the 39. They need, or check that, the 39, yes, they need... Just inside the Laurel Highlands, 34 for a first down. And yeah, Alex Trobe's going to take a timeout. Yep. With 6:27 left here in the third quarter, 17 to nothing. Wildcats over the Mustangs are back at 60 here in the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Casey Sports Cafe, owned and operated by the Vernon family and located at 243 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Union Town, is announcing they will have new evening hours. New hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come into Casey Sports Cafe and check out the new menu items and entrees. Casey's can also cater your next event. Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Casey's is the place to eat. Phone 724-550-4126 for Casey's Sports Cafe. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you, oil checked, and windshield clean? Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station that has been serving the Uniontown area for over 49 years. Joby's Golf offers lockout services, fenced-in storage lot, and is a AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. Back here at Mustang Field, fourth and a long five here for Greater Latrobe from the Laurel Highlands, 39 after the timeout. Wetzel out of the pistol set, takes the snap, hangs in the pocket, looks near side, and coming to the near sidelines on one he knee yep. is Jatuan Williams caught it at the 27-yard line for a 12-yard pickup. So once again, Latrobe able to convert this time on a fourth down for a first down, it's Jatuan Williams with another catch for Greater Latrobe yeah, he, tonight. He missed uh, Riley Smith wide open down the middle of the field on the left hash. Nobody near him. 
Well, Latrobe driving again, first and 10 from the Laurel Highlands, 27 now. You've Stratton out to the far side, lone wide out. Sawyer Bettina comes in motion. A handoff will go here to Brady Prohovic. Flag, flag coming in as Prohovic takes it down to the 22 for a five-yard gain. We'll bring up second down and five. We'll check the flag. Penalty flag on the play. TJ's cutting in that Bell Vernon lead. It's Bell Vernon 12, TJ 10 in the third quarter. Had a penalty here against Greater Latrobe. Had a holding penalty there, Steve? I didn't see the signal. It was. Yeah. It was. Number 75 for Latrobe just kind of tackled the defensive end for the Mustangs in the backfield. Called by the line judge over here on the near side. Going to see Chuck Michael in the house tonight, brother of Phil Michael, one of our afternoon talk show hosts here on WMBS. Has Wetzel with a handoff there to Prohovic again, and Prohovic getting two. Good tackle. Down to the 35. Baker. And Gary, did you notice they did assess that last penalty correctly? Well, it was uh, first and ten, so they really didn't have any choice. Well, no, but it could have been from the spot of the foul, like they did the last time. Well, the spot was in the backfield. So, again, they did it correctly. Because if it was in the backfield, it would have been first and 25. I'm not asking him, Brian. All right. I'm just, just pointing out what I'm seeing. It's not your problem, Brian. <laughs> Second and 18, triple left formation. Handoff going to Prohovic here on the near side. A little stiff arm. He's run out of bounds of the 32 for a three-yard gain. It'll be third and 15 now with 450 left here in the third quarter. Greater Latrobe still up 17 to nothing. Well, this is uh, like we're hanging by a thread here. <laughs> Guys, it's just kind of, you know, third, fifth, 16, you got to get a stop here. And it's almost four down territory because you're certainly not going to punt from the 30-yard line, I wouldn't think. And then uh, if you got to keep them, you know, last thing you want to do is let them get five or six, eight yards and get it, make it a manageable fourth down. Wetzel takes the snap. Flushed out near side in trouble. Was hit as he released the football and has a man down to the 16-yard line. Pass complete there to Jack Dravjinovic. Flag. So the H back, Drajinovich. Rough, roughing the passer, or it could be a roughing the passer or holding. It was not roughing the passer, definitely holding. And that was uh, all the way back here at the 36 yard line. And the, uh, the offensive linemen were just trying to protect Wetzel and again tackle the uh, defensive lineman. That nullifies. A reception that actually would have been close to a first down. It was a first down. That was well inside. That was down near the 18, yeah. so would have been close. Nonetheless, now it's third and 26. They push the line of scrimmage back now to the 42. We'll need the Laurel Highlands 18 for a first down. Well, we stop them in the game here. They might punt. More of a traditional shotgun this time for Wetzel. Sends Prohovic out. Well, Bubble it. Fake Bubble pick it up. Go. Run ball. with it. They're going to whistle it down. Officials whistled that down saying yeah, but he had he his arm it, going the, forward. His arm was going forward, but the ball went backwards almost. That could have been a fumble. Yeah, it looked like he was trying to top it and not throw it. That could have been a fumble. They're going to bring out Gage Ketrin to punt. Ketrin back of the Latrobe 45. Mustangs have Hunter Kuzier back of the Laurel Highlands 10. Clean snap back to Ketrin. Shank. And he shanks it. They'll go out of bounds. Let's see where they rule it out at. Official standing back right around the 35 yard line. Another official coming up. And they're going to rule it out here right at the 35. So that's where Laurel Highlands will take over first and 10 when we come back. Greater Latrobe 17, Laurel Highlands nothing. 3.57 left here in the third. We're back in 30 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. 
I'm Mike Gobble, and I am the Republican nominee for Fayette County District Attorney. I am a retired member of the Army and a veteran of Afghanistan. With nearly 20 years of experience in military, police, corrections, and criminal law, I am the most qualified candidate to be your chief law enforcement officer. I am a strong defender of your constitutional rights, and I'm dedicated to addressing crime, drugs, and corruption. We need change in the District Attorney's office. Vote for me, Mike Gobble, on November 7th, because I am the right person to bring about that change. Paid for by the candidate. Just a seven-yard punt from Gage Ketrin. And now the Mustangs with a first and ten from their own 35-yard line. Laurel Highland staying with Johnny Duke as the quarterback. Off to his right and getting the football is Parker Hoff. And Hoff, a little run up the middle. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Those yards tough to come by, Steve, in between the tackles. Non-existent right now. We're not doing anything offensively. We just got to you got to have something in your bag of tricks there on the offensive side of things. You got to pull something out of your hat. Get them get a, get the ball moving down the field. Third, check that second and 9 now for Duke. Now call his own number up the middle across the 40 up to the 41 yard line. Gary to you does the Mustang sideline just seem subdued at this juncture of the game. It's very subdued. It looks like a, uh, you know, just guys are just kind of hanging around. There's really no excitement at all, no enthusiasm or cheering on or trying to exude your their teammates. So uh, you're right. Third and four now for Laurel Highlands. From their own 41, Duke's going to put it up quick out far side. Has Josiah Lewis for about a two-yard gain. It'll be fourth and two. Tele <laughs> telegraphing those passes, Brian. The guys are jumping those routes. And it's, uh, he's already had one picked off and go the other way. He's going to be careful. But I think at this point, you almost have to take a shot at it here, fourth and two. Down 17 to nothing. And as a receiver, you have to know where that first marker is. You got to get beyond it to make the catch. Fourth and two now for the Mustangs. Twins to each side. Now Duke's going to come up under center. Oh, Try QB boy. sneak on fourth and two. That's a tough get. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a big. Needed two. Yeah, I think he only got one. Yeah. I wonder if he called that on his own or. Yeah, I don't think he got <laughs> even close. He's a yard short, Brian. Now, Greater Latrobe bringing their offense on the field. Wildcats will take over on downs. 209 left here in the third quarter. Greater Latrobe 17. Laurel Highlands nothing. We're back in 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Novacare Rehabilitation is now in Masontown. Using a personalized plan of care and one-on-one -on -one sessions, Novacare gives you an advantage in rehabilitation. Dr. Haley Cruiser and our professional staff are certified to use industry-leading treatment, including LVST Big Therapy for Parkinson's disease, which increases mobility, improves balance, and decreases time necessary to complete tasks. These services supplement Novacare's exceptional orthopedic, concussion, and vestibular dysfunction resources. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call our new Masontown office on Route 21 McClellan Town Road at 724-491-5220. Wetzel, first down, handoff, Brady Prohovic. And Prohovic getting four up the middle to bring up second down and six. And Steve, if it's me, I'm bringing Noah Lyon out on the next drive and just start slinging it around. You're down 17 to nothing. 153 left here in the third quarter. You've got nothing going offensively all night long. You just need to start taking some chances and just try to do something to change this mojo up at this juncture of the game. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you hate to say call for a kid to get benched, but uh, I'm not saying it's all Duke's fault. But you just need something for a spark. Right, right. You need something to spark the team right now, and you just can't keep on doing what you're doing. That's produced zero points so far tonight. Another inside run. This time to Chris Cochran, and Cochran was hit at the line of scrimmage, able to surge forward for a yard down to the 41. Bring up well, third down and six. Yeah, you know, we've watched obviously every play of the year, right? So, I mean, I, from what I could see, no. You missed Lyon, that one uh, Latrobe touchdown yeah. tonight, right? When you were well, with John? No, I was out there. <laughs> I saw it from the outside. But the the, the uh, Lions a better thrower. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind he could throw the ball down the field a little bit, like a deep deep threat. I mean, Johnny Duke's a good. He's you know he can throw it deep, but uh, his game is really just those out patterns and and running the ball. Here's another third down conversion yeah. mm. as once again Wetzel this time finding Ben Stratton his third reception of the night. First down down to the 27 and a 13 yard gain. 
And Duke's a pretty good receiver. I mean, so is Lance. So they got to. But like you said, anything, even if it's just for a spark, just something to change your change your luck, you know? Well, again, Steve, I liked the change in the Kiske game when you went at that time lying to Duke because, again, they needed the spark. Duke provided that. And here I think it's the opposite. You've got nothing going offensively. Let's go the spark in the other way and just see what happens. 17 seconds left here in the third quarter. Another inside run. It's Cochran again. And Cochran should have enough here for another Latrobe first down. Needed 10, got just that down to the 18-yard line. And Latrobe going no huddle, trying to get another playoff here before the end of the quarter. They're lining up. They're not going to get Down to four, off. down to three. Wetzel coming to the line, and they are going to get it snapped, but yeah. now officials come in. Wetzel thought he got it away, Off but the sides. officials are going to say. So they can't end on a penalty. So You're right. Another Offsides penalty against the Mustangs. Wow. That's tough. Now, first and five, you'll have an untimed down here to end the third quarter. Line of scrimmage now, the Laurel Highlands 13. They're going to actually put some time on the clock. Really wouldn't matter much. You're going to have one, on, one down, down here no matter what. Correct. Wetzel back out of the pistol set. They're going to wind it here. And they're not going to get the play away. Latrobe thought the clock was stopped coming after the penalty. They're going to wind it down and they won't get the play away. So it's 17 to nothing. Wildcats over the Mustangs are back with a fourth. And 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases. But most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including free consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis, representing you and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 724-437-2799. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valets. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with white glove service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. It's just that easy. 17-0, Raider Latrobe leading Laurel Highland start of the fourth quarter. Gary, any explanation for that time and then winding it after the penalty there? Should have been untimed down. Well, there was still, it was a dead ball call, and there was still time on the So that's why they put the two seconds back on, and it does start up on the ready for play. All right, so we'll start the... Fourth quarter here, Latrobe now working right to left. Wets a little play fake, rolling out to his right with a flag on the play. Stratton brings it in for a Latrobe touchdown. We'll see if it stands. Thank we you. maybe have an offensive pick there. I think, you know, that's you would think that would be the call, but I, there was not a receiver over there to do any picking, so I don't know what they're going to call here. Flag was thrown right around the goal line and a defensive yeah. holding penalty. Yeah. So the TD will stand, opening play of the fourth quarter. Will go as a 14-yard touchdown reception from Wetzel to Stratton. And the lead now up to 23 to nothing. Now BG for the extra point, low snap coming back. And in trouble, just trying to get it away to the holder. Prohovic did a good job just to give his team a chance there on the conversion. Ends up falling incomplete. So with 11.54 left in regulation, Greater Latrobe 23, Laurel Highlands nothing. We're back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. 
Are you looking to list or sell your house? Now is the time to let the professionals at Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty help you with all of your real estate needs. Caldwell Banker Laurel Ridge Realty has two convenient locations to better serve you. In Uniontown area, 724-437-7100. Or in Connellsville area, 724-628-7200. And speak with one of our real estate professionals. Visit our website, caldwellbanker.com. We've been proudly serving western Pennsylvania area for over 30 years and look forward to helping you with all of your real estate needs. Broker Paul Borges. Hello, my name is Dr. Garrett Brakeiron, and I am running for South Union Township Supervisor. I have been a lifelong resident of South Union and raised my family and built my business in South Union. I have recently retired, and I will devote my full time and energy as your supervisor. It's time for a change of the old guard with new leadership. I humbly ask for your support in the upcoming election. The following message was paid for by the friends of Garrett Brakeiron. Now a 23 to nothing lead for the Greater Latrobe Wildcats over the Laurel Highlands Mustangs as BG sends another kickoff away. This one will go out of bounds. So the Mustangs will have good field position. Last touchdown, 13-yard TD pass from John Wetzel to Ben Stratton. Capped off a six-play, 44-yard drive. Took 2.15 off the clock. Score occurred on the opening play of the fourth quarter at the 11.54 mark. Got to go now. Yep. And as we look at this Mustang offense breaking huddle off to our left, the Laurel Highlands We're going quarterback here is Johnny Duke under center. You have John Deke into the game as well, a yeah. fullback, and that handoff went to Tristan Baker, and Baker getting a yard, maybe two. Down 23 to nothing in fourth quarter. You're not going to. I don't think you're going to fool anybody running the football at this point. You're going to have to throw it down the field sooner or later, right? Second and eight. Duke again, pitch back. This time going to Parker Hoff. Mustangs trying to play some old school football here. And Hoff just got two to bring up third down and a long six. And the only problem with this, going hurry up and running the ball, you're going to have the ball for about a two minutes and hand it right back. Yep. And third and seven, same formation again. This time Duke's going to roll out to the near side. He's in trouble and just throws it out of bounds. So three plays, you got three yards. Took less than a minute off the clock, and now you're facing a third and check that a fourth and seven and likely have to punt. That drive didn't accomplish much, guys. If you want to win the game, you're going to have to go for it, I would think. But I think they are. Noah Lyon now coming into the game. Michael will be a wide receiver here. He will. And Duke remains the quarterback. Tristan Baker now repositioned off to his right. Triple left formation. Duke will pump fake. Now throws near side. Single coverage looking for Darren Dunn. And the pass falls incomplete. So the Mustangs turn it over on downs. 23 to nothing. Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands. 10.58 left in regulation. We're back in 30 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Looking for a fast, friendly notary service? Sandy Howell Notary Services, LLC, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates, and more. They serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dry Knob Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. First and 10 now for Greater Latrobe after the Mustangs turn the football over on downs. Inside a run to Brady Prohovic, who picks up eight. It'll be second down and two. And Guys, this is such a huge game coming in. Laurel Highlands on a three-game losing streak, fighting for an opportunity to get back into the WPIL playoffs again this season. But to me, just been an uninspired effort. Well... Just uh, offensively, Brian, zero. You know, you look across there and you see zero points for the Mustangs, and they really haven't even, uh, they, you know, we missed that field goal, but that was a long field goal try. And, uh, Second and two now for Greater Latrobe. Inside run, Perhovic again. Be close to a first down. The second Talk half has been, has been really uh, 
tough sledding for the Mustangs. What are our yardage totals look like for Laurel Highlands? Tony, ballpark at this juncture of the game. Well, they have 46 yards passing and roughly about 55 yards rushing, a little bit about, more than yeah. that. Yeah. A little over 100 yards. Yeah. Getting into the midway stages of the fourth quarter, 9.45 left on a running clock here in the fourth. Time permitting, before the Triple Live High School scoreboard show, we'll have some bonus coverage for you of the Uniontown Valley game after we wrap up. Here's Wetzel, run the whole way. It's down close to the 27. They're going to give him just enough yep. for a first down. Move the sticks again for Greater Latrobe. This is what they want to do at this juncture of the game. 9.26 left in regulation, up 23 to nothing. Just run some clock. Again, for Laurel Highlands next week, not going to get any easier. They're on the road at Thomas Jefferson taking on the Jaguars. Oof. That's going to be a rough one. TJ in a dogfight <laughs> with Bell Vernon yeah. today. What was the last score check you had, Tony? Was it 19-10, Bell Vernon? 19-10 at half. 19-10, Bell Vernon at halftime over TJ. Did they lose to Bell Vernon? They'll even be a little more angry coming into that game as Prohovic another run inside the 25 down to the 20-yard line. Seven or eight that time for Prohovic. Maybe, maybe they're looking past Bell Vernon to, for the Mustangs. To Laurel Highlands, I don't think so. Now Laurel Highlands, Bell Vernon game, the marquee game probably in all classifications tonight around the WPIL. Remember, the Mustangs, this started their winning streak to end the season last year. They'd lost to McKeesport and then ran the table and were conference co-champs with Bell Vernon and McKeesport. And Latrobe actually rallied after this loss to Laurel Highlands last year and had a nice run, got into the WPIL playoffs and actually picked up their first WPIL playoff win going back to the 1960s. Prior to last year, their last playoff win was 1968, and that was the only playoff win in school history. They downed Kiski. Last year, they knocked off Highlands in overtime. 28-21 to 21 before losing to Thomas Jefferson in the WPIL quarters. Here they have another first and 10 at the Laurel Highland 16-yard line. Wetzel again out of the pistol set. Handoff goes to Prohovic and he'll stumble forward and get down close to the 10 for another 6-yard gain. Of course, the Mustangs coming off of back-to-back -back seasons where they won playoff games. Of course, had that dramatic win up at Beaver in 2021 and lost to Aliquippa in the quarters. Last year, won here at home. Were pretty dominant over West Allegheny, 44-15, and then lost up at Central Valley, 36-7. Second and four here for Latrobe from the Mustang 10-yard line. Wetzel back out of the pistol set. Calls his own number inside the five, and Wetzel down to the three. That's tough for the defenders there because they don't know who to tackle. And what they usually do, I know at the college level, they'll tell them to tackle both of them. Just yes. go after either one of them just <laughs> just to... Because you just don't know. There's no way that the defenders can tell whether that quarterback's going to pull the ball out or not. Wetzel's already accounted for, Steve, three touchdowns in this game. Had touchdown passes to Stratton and Williams that had that six-yard touchdown run. And now a first and goal from the Laurel Highlands three with 6.50 left in regulation. Wetzel here out of the shotgun. Look to call his own number again inside the five, and Wetzel's <laughs> into the end zone for a second rushing touchdown of the night. This time from three yards out. And the lead now up to 29 to nothing for Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands. They're going to go for two. Try to make it an even 30 to nothing. Well, now they're going to kick. They looked like they had some confusion, but now they sent the kicker out. Yep. Going to say it didn't make a lot of sense to go for two. No. There. Especially with a 29 to nothing lead. And BG's extra point is up on the way and good to make it 30 to nothing with 641. Left here in regulation. All greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands, and we're back in 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. 
Keep your legal needs close to home. Attorney Vincent T. Berry specializes in criminal justice, wills and estates, family law, and personal injury. Attorney T. Berry is located at 84 East Main <laughs> Street across the street from the Fayette County Courthouse in Uniontown. When you need to consult an attorney, make your first call to Attorney Vince T. Berry. It will be the only call you need to make. Call 724-430-0300. That's 724-430-0300. On the go? No time to stop? That's when you'll love Peach and Pharmacy's curbside pickup at Peach and Market in downtown Connellsville. Next time you have a prescription to get, let Peach and Pharmacy make it easy for you. Call ahead at 724-626-9600 or send a message. Let friendly curbside pickup keep you right where you want to be, in the driver's seat. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. Kickoff going back to Gio Guerriere, and Guerriere looking for a big run back here for Laurel Highlands. Gets across the 30, up to the 31-yard line. Laurel Highlands trailing 30 to nothing. Last touchdown at John Wetzel. Three-yard run. Score occurring at the 641 mark of the fourth, capping off a seven-play, 62-yard drive. that took 417 off the clock. BG had in the extra point. Steve, if they would have went for two there, I would have thought Lou Rude was coaching that team. <laughs> your buddy from back in the day, right? Uh, you, you, you're Woody Woodpecker, Brian. <laughs> Old Bell Vernon trouble. coach. Trying to start trouble. Of course, that goes back to a game Steve and I were doing when Bell Vernon was up like 30 to nothing on Uniontown. And they faked they ran, it. They faked an extra point. Duke, a little pitch forward there. And Parker Hoff with a little running room across the 35-40. Has a Mustang first down up to the 41-yard line. The 10, maybe 11 there for Hoff. Comes up limping. Valley now up 20 to 6 over Uniontown. And actually, they just tacked on another touchdown. Now 26 to 6, Valley over Uniontown. That game's still in the third quarter. We had a holding penalty here against the Mustangs. Well, when it rains, it pours. Yes. It? You finally get a good play. You get a penalty, and you're running back. One of your best players gets hurt, dinged up there. He uh, comes off limping. Looks like he's, you know, hobbling around. Hopefully he'll be able to go back in. But just, uh, well, that's uh, it's not your night when something like that happens. Line of scrimmage now back to the Laurel Highlands 21-yard line. It's first and 20. 6.05 left on a running clock in regulation. Triple right formation here for the Mustangs. Duke's been the quarterback all night long and incomplete here through that one right in between Darren Dunn and Joshua Reed. That ball slipped out of Duke's hand. It came out of there like a knuckler. Dive, dove right into the ground, so didn't have a good grip on it. Second and 20 now. 5.55. We lost our radio audience. Try to get them back in just a moment. 5.55 left here in the fourth quarter. Duke with a triple right set on the second and 20. Pass goes here to Hunter Couser. And Couser able to get 10 up to the 30-yard line. We're going to reconnect here on the radio side. Hopefully somebody's still listening. Yes. <laughs> a lot of folks still watching. You also have the Valley Union Sound game with Josh Scully and with Billy Dice. Great race. You can combine your home on and auto. the WMBS Facebook page as well. That's right. Good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown. Ooh, Duke across the middle pass is intercepted. So try to combine home Picked and auto off together. there by Sawyer Bettina, and then Bettina took a late shot. Perfectly. Call 724-592. Wow, looked like he had a guy, a couple guys open. He threw it into traffic. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Tough one. So as we come back for the folks on the radio side, sort of Bettina intercepting John Duke. Bettina took a pretty good shot there, Steve, but able to hang on. And now Latrobe's going to take over the football. Penalty was called on John Duke. What was the call there, guys? It might have been across went, the line yeah. of scrimmage. Across the line of scrimmage on the pass. That's correct. So Latrobe could actually 
and act the running clock the rest of the way. It doesn't really matter much. We only have no. 5.14 left in regulation. No. They're up 30 to nothing. That ship, it's, that ship has sailed already, Brian. Yep. It's over. I mean, and it's going to be over quick because they're going to run the ball. New quarterback. You're right on that. The new Small quarterback guy. there is Ty Wisniewski. Wisniewski with the handoff going there to Izzy McMahon. And Izzy takes it down to the 34-yard line for a gain of seven. You like those guys named Izzy, don't you, Steve? Always strong and powerful. <laughs> that Izzy Mantle ball Mantle from back bottom. in the day, yep. Second and three. You think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> McMahon only a freshman. No, check that sophomore. Sophomore, 5'865 pounds. Our buddy Wally, the professor, sent me a picture of a cinnamon bobka that he bought yes. tonight. Where's Wally at this evening? I don't know what he's doing tonight. He's eating cinnamon bobka, though, so he's doing better than we are right now. Wisniewski back to McMahon. And that one down at the 20-yard line, so another nice run from Izzy McMahon getting 13 there out of the 20-yard line. Yeah, the younger kids get a chance to play. They want to show what they can do. And a nice run there. First and 10 now from the Latrobe 20. Check that from the Laurel Highlands 20. Second teamers in the game for the Wildcats on offense. And another run to Izzy McMahon. McMahon inside the 15, inside the 10. And Izzy McMahon takes it down to the 8-yard line. 12-yard run again for Izzy McMahon, who's gotten three straight carries. Tackle on the play by Gary McMahon came into the game just four carries for eight yards and a touchdown. It's already surpassed that. Now three for 32. I'm getting a report, Brian, that Brownsville won tonight for the first. Really? They actually entered the evening. They were taking on Carrick with the longest losing streak in the WPIL. So if your report's correct, Steve, well, my buddy, that'll go away. My buddy Marcus Andre just uh, gave me the report. He's a Brownsville guy, and his daughter, he said it's his first win since his daughter was in high school, and she graduated in, in 2015. So that's, well, congratulations uh, to those kids. Well-deserved Brownsville win over Carrick tonight. Latrobe's, score. Latrobe's going to take a timeout here with 337 left in regulation. Wildcats up 30 to nothing over the Mustangs. We're back in 60 here on the CR Brown Group High School Sports Night. Hello, I am Jack Connor. I am running for district attorney. I'm going to go after drug dealers who are pumping fentanyl into our community, insist upon maximum sentences for dangerous criminals, and escalating sentences for repeat offenders. With clear consequences, would-be criminals will think twice. Then we can all raise families, start businesses, and feel safe in Fayette County. Learn more Mondays at 4.15 p.m. right here on WMBS. Paid for by friends of Jack W. Connor. The Sea Harbor Auto Group is bringing service to your door with the exclusive Sea Harbor Service Valet. Just call to schedule your next service appointment and we'll come pick up your car and drop it off after the work is finished. We'll even wash it for you. Call us today at 724-930-7766 to schedule your next appointment. Pick up and delivery with White Glove Service. Never wait in a service lounge again. Call us today at 724-930-7766. So we come back, Izzy McMahon getting the fourth straight carry for the Greater Latrobe Wildcats. This time lost a couple of yards, lost three back to the 11. Latrobe now with Clayton Burkett in at quarterback, number 27. And Steve, you mentioned that was a 36-30 to 30 yeah. win for Brownsville yeah. over Carrick tonight. And the, uh, the report I'm having from uh, is they're going to have a parade tonight. That is fantastic. <laughs> Was it homecoming? I'm not sure about All that. Right. Still congratulations to the Brownsville Falcons. McMahon for the fifth straight time takes it inside the 10 down to the 9-yard line. Carry. And 250 now left. By Glenn Denning. Third and third and now third and goal for Greater Latrobe. And Gary, you've been around this Laurel Highlands program for quite some time and to me, this is one of the more uninspired Laurel Highlands performances I've seen. Well, I have to agree, and uh, it's really kind of question, kind of uh, 
an issue that they're going to have to deal with moving forward, especially with the losing streak and coming against TJ next week. Yeah. It's going to be very difficult for them to be have any kind of motivation. Yeah, still five games to play. Burkett back to McMahon again, and McMahon inside the five, reaches down to the goal line. He's in. So Izzy McMahon. The sophomore for Greater Latrobe gets his second touchdown of the season, first of the night, and the Wildcats take a 36 to nothing lead over Laurel Highlands. Pretty good attempt by the Mustangs to stop him at the goal line there, but uh, he looked like he maybe just got that nose of the football across the line as he got hit, and the clock will run. Mitchell Horner came on for the extra point, and it's good. So Horner adds the extra point. And with 2.05 left in regulation, it's 37 to nothing. Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands. We're back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. I'm attorney Rob Harper of Radcliffe Law. Trip Radcliffe, Bill Martin, and I want you to know that Radcliffe Law has handled all sorts of accident cases for the past 40 years, and we are here for you. There is no need for you to travel to Pittsburgh and pay a larger fee. Call us and we will gladly meet with you for free right here in Uniontown. We even have Saturday hours to accommodate your schedule. Visit our website and Facebook page. Give us a call at 724-439-3939. Radcliffe Law, your local injury attorneys. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an individual and will work directly one-on-one -on -one with you to help achieve your goals. You have tried the rest. Now try the best. NovaCare, Delaware Avenue in Uniontown. Phone 724-437-0556 to schedule your appointment today. Roman Agostini now will kick off for Greater Latrobe. They've used about four kickers in this game. Agostini. And Agostini will have that one going to the end zone off a little deflection as Hunter Couser actually stepped in front of Gio Guerriere. Guerriere is saying, what are you doing? And Steve, a lot of comments here on our Facebook page about the impact of Rodney Gallagher on this <laughs> Mustang football team. But I think the comments certainly have some merit considering the success the Mustangs have had over the four years he was here and the slow start this football program has had here in 2023. We have to wonder also, I mean, it doesn't really appear to be the case, but uh, if Antoine Black can come back, whether one player like that could well, correct, provide a spark that the Mustangs yep. might need, some uh, big play opportunities that he could provide. Yeah, good, good point there, Gary, as well. Of course, Black... Injured in that Mustang loss up at Kiski area. Back practicing with the team. Was here on the field earlier and talking to Coach Colasar during our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. He thinks they're going to be able to get Black back pretty soon. That was a little screen out to Marion Jones. Did he lose the football? No. He's a little slow in getting up. We do have flags down. Holding. I'll march off another 10. Reminder, the Triple Live scoreboard show will come your way next with a little bonus coverage for you as well of the Valley Uniontown game with Josh Scully and Billy Dice up in New Kensington tonight. Do a quick little wrap up here and then get it up to those guys for a little bonus coverage. Mustangs are going to line up with quads to the right. Now they reposition Ian Fike out to the left side. Duke's going to throw. Quick out near side pass complete. Josh Reed takes it across the 20 up to the 21 yard line for an 11 yard pickup. But a tough last two weeks for Laurel Highlands. 55 to 3 last week against McKeesport. Down 37 to nothing here against Greater Latrobe. Duke now flushed to the near side. Throws on the run as Darren Dunn down the near sideline and Dunn. Pushed out of bounds, just shy of midfield by Gage Ketrin. Clock, though, continues to roll. Yeah, 24 like seconds left. All right. <coughs> I'm going to bother to <coughs> call a timeout. They have three left, but obviously it's... Uh, yeah. yeah, you're down 37 to yeah. nothing. 
Duke's going to put it up again. Flushed out near side pump fake. And now Duke looking deep down the near sideline. Intended for That's Darren it. Dunn over his head. That'll be the final play of the game. It's your final score. Greater Latrobe 37. Laurel Highlands nothing. Stay tuned for our postgame show. Brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon. Comes your way next year on WMBS at Triple Live High School Sports Network. The South Union Township Sports Network and Facebook Live. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. Visit georgedentalassociates.com today. That's georgedentalassociates.com. And find out how they can enhance your smile through the art of dentistry. Wishing the Mustangs a successful season. Good times and good food. It's all at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown, family owned and operated. Potter's has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Dave Lohr wants to remain your Fayette County Commissioner. Commissioners have come and gone, but real change came when Dave Lohr was elected Fayette County Commissioner. Dave left politics at the door to focus on what's best for the people of Fayette County. The county is changing from here at home to Pittsburgh to Harrisburg to Washington. They're noticing things are looking up for Fayette County, and businesses are noticing too. And that's good for everyone. Keep Dave Lohr your Fayette County Commissioner. Paid for by the Dave Lohr campaign. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days. At life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service. Real service. From a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank at your service. The North Union Township Recreation Center and Supervisors Kurt Matthews, Ron Supta, and Ron Landman are a proud sponsor of the Laurel Highlands Mustang football team. The North Union Rec Center and Supervisors wish the Mustangs good luck this season. For information on the North Union Township Rec Center Basketball and Soccer League, please phone 724-438-7350 or visit their website at northunionreccenter.com. When you are looking to make some extra cash for your aluminum can, visit Cherokee Recycling, where aluminum can is king. Cherokee Recycling is open Monday through Friday, 9 till 5, and Saturdays, 8 till 12 noon, closed Sundays and holidays. Give Marcus or Rags a call today at 724-439-3228 for Cherokee Recycling, where recycling makes the most sense. 37 to nothing, the final score. Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands tonight. We'll start our postgame show, which is brought to you by South Union Township Supervisor Rick Vernon with our first Federal Savings and Loan Association of Green County Super Play of the game. And it was this John Wetzel to Jatuan Williams, 52-yard touchdown pass. Wildcats now working left to right. Wetzel staying out of that pistol set, third and seven, looking to put it up. Looks far side, high pass brought down Jatuan Williams. Breaks the tackle, Williams inside the 25, Williams still going, cut back inside the 20, and Williams is going to take it to the house. And a lot of fancy running there from Jatuan Williams after the catch for the Greater Latrobe touchdown, 52 yards from Wetzel to Williams. That was certainly an impressive run after the catch from Jatuan Williams. That was the first of two touchdown passes tonight for John Wetzel. Steve also had a pair of touchdown runs. And John Wetzel's our player of the game, brought to you by Fayette County Commissioner Vince Vecides. And Wetzel was quite impressive tonight, Steve. Yeah, he sure was. He, he threw the ball uh, down the field pretty well, and he ran the ball extremely well, and he was, uh, he was a pretty good uh, defensive player as well. So he was all over the field tonight. And Tony, as our final stats are being brought to you by Peach and Pharmacy inside the downtown Connellsville Peach and Market. Right for Latrobe, John Wetzel was 12 for 17 passing, 178 yards, two touchdowns, one of those going to Ben Stratton on a 14-yard pass, and Jatuan Williams on a 52-yard touchdown. 
Jaton Williams had six catches for 109 yards and a touchdown. Ben Stratton, four catches, 62 yards and a touchdown. Ben Gira, one catch for one yard. And Chris Cochran, one catch for six yards. Rushing, Brady Pahovic had 17 carries for 64 yards. Wetzel, 11 carries, 41 yards, two touchdowns, one from six and one from three yards. Chris Cochran, four carries for 22 yards. Chetuan Williams, one carry for 26. And Izzy McMahon in that fourth quarter, six carries, 37 yards, and a seven-yard touchdown. Latrobe ran 56 offensive plays. They had 39 rushes for 190 yards. 12 for 17 passing for 178 yards. 368 yards of total offense. Five penalties for 40 yards. They had 18 first downs, and they did not have a turnover in the game. For the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, John Duke was 9 for 18 passing for 95 yards. He did get picked twice. Hunter Kuja, leading receiver, four catches for 46 yards. Josiah Lewis had one catch for two yards. Josh Reed, one catch for 11. Parker Hoff, two catches for seven. And Darren Dunn. One catch for 29 late in that fourth quarter. Rushing-wise, Parker Hoff, nine carries for 30 yards. Tristan Baker, seven carries, 22 yards. John Duke, four carries for eight yards. Jaden Tucker, two carries for six. And Hunter Couser, one carry for seven yards. Offensively, Laurel Highlands ran 41 offensive plays, 23 carries for 73 yards. They were nine for 18 passing for 95 yards. 168 yards of total offense, so Latrobe 368 yards to 168 yards for the Mustangs. The Mustangs did have seven penalties for 70 yards. They only had five first downs and only one in that second half, and they did have two turnovers, both of those the picks by Duke. 37 to nothing, your final score. Steve, your final thoughts. Well, well, it's just a tough one. It's just uh, you feel bad for the kids. You know, knowing what they got coming next week, you know, they get, uh, what, 55-3 to three last week, then you got 37 nothing, and then, and guess what, uh, congratulations, you get to go to TJ and play them on their home field after they're having a tough time against Bell Vernon. So, uh, whoo, it's going to be a rough one. But, uh, hey, <clears throat> kids are resilient. they got to bounce back and, uh, you know, keep fighting. We're on there next week with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show at 6, opening kicks at 4-7. For Tony, Sarah, Steve, and... Nick back in our WMBS studios. Also, Gary Frankhauser joined us on the sidelines tonight. Congratulations to Gary during our broadcast today. Added his fifth grandchild. Certainly a happy fella tonight. Your final score, 37 to nothing. Greater Latrobe over Laurel Highlands here on Homecoming. Stay tuned. A quick timeout. We'll send it out to Valley High School in New Kensington. Some bonus coverage of Valley and Uniontown in the Trib Live High School Scoreboard Show with Don Rebel all later on tonight here on WMBS. So long from Mustang Field.